Thank you.
Everybody, it's Jeff Keeley, and welcome to Game Pink Live 2020 uh, in honor of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, really excited to be here with all of you guys. We are live right now on Twitch and YouTube on the Xbox channels, and we'll be here over the next four hours with a number of special guests across the gaming industry, both streamers, game developers, and others who are all here helping us raise money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, you can go to GamePinkLive.com at any point um, to make a donation and also uh, enter into some giveaways. We've got this amazing uh, Halo uh, Infinite gun uh, with 16,000 Swarovski uh, crystals on it. This is one of the giveaways and there are a lot of other great giveaways that uh, you guys can be a part of with making a donation. Uh, even just a dollar is enough to get into the running for some of the amazing uh, special um, giveaways that we will have as part of this stream. Uh, this is such an important month for National Breast Cancer Awareness. One in eight women uh, throughout their lives will um, 
unfortunately be diagnosed with breast cancer. So this is something that affects all of us. And as a gaming community, hopefully we can all come together and uh, do some good today. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun though. We've got, as I said, lots of great giveaways, lots of great guests joining us. Courage will be here. JD Witherspoon, Aaron Greenberg from Xbox. Uh, we'll be also seeing some live games, uh, gameplay from Bree Bun, Bloody Faster, and Das Medi. Uh, they'll be playing games live. We'll be going live to their Twitch channels as part of this. And as I mentioned, also be joined by some great gamers. Uh, Preston Plays, JD Witherspoon, and Courage will all be popping by. We'll be chatting with them. Uh, and I'm sure lots of you guys watch them streaming all the time. Uh, but of course, game developers will be with us as well. Aaron Greenberg, the GM of Games Marketing for Xbox, will be with us uh, in about 90 minutes. We'll be talking about all things Xbox. He's been a huge supporter of uh, the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, Mikey Dowling from Obsidian will be here. Uh, we'll be talking about Grounded, their latest game. And my fellow Canadian, Maya Moldenhauer from Studio MDHR. We will talk about all things Cuphead as well. And there's an awesome Cuphead giveaway. If you go to GamePinkLive.com, uh, you can enter a donation uh, for a chance for a really awesome, actually, sell of animation from Cuphead. So uh, lots of great things for the community coming together uh, for this important month for National Breast Cancer Awareness. Um, so we have a special guest that is going to be joining us right after this. Uh, uh, Kevin Hale, the president and COO of the National Breast Cancer Foundation. But let's take a look at this and uh, Kevin will join us right after this. NBCF's mission is to help women now by inspiring hope to those affected by breast cancer through early detection, education, and support services. 46% of gamers in the U.S. are female. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. NBCF offers free, life-changing programs to women affected by breast cancer so no one has to face their journey alone. Every two minutes, a woman in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Support is needed now more than ever. Cancer doesn't slow down in a pandemic and neither do we. Let's come together as a community so that it's game over. Game over. Game over. It's game over for breast cancer. All right, well, joining me now from Texas is Kevin Hale from the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, Kevin, how you doing? Hey, Jeff. I'm great. How are you, man? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you so much for all that, 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 that you do. And uh, Game Pink, we're going to talk a bit about that. But I know this is not a new initiative. This is something that you guys have been involved in uh, for quite a while with gaming. But before we get to sort of Game Pink and gaming, I'd love to hear a little bit more about the National Breast Cancer Foundation um, and, and how you, uh, sort of a bit about the foundation and also how you help women who are battling breast cancer. So tell us a bit about the foundation for people that may not be familiar with it. Well, about, uh, Jeff, about 39 years ago, uh, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And um, I mean, you yeah, know, I was three years old. And so I've, you know, had a long time, of course, in my life, I'm an old guy. <laughs> I've had a long time to think about what it would be like to not have a mom. And I mean, you know, I want you to think about that, you know, the, the viewers out there, just to think about your life right now, like what your mom is in, in your world. And, you know, maybe your, your sister is someone really important. And for them to not be there uh, is, is such a horrible reality for so many, for so many families um, around our country and around the world. And, you know, a lot of charities kind of there there you hear a lot going on throughout the the month of october there are a lot of great breast cancer charities uh many are focused on research because we need to find a cure for for this terrible disease but um national breast cancer foundation um who is the sponsor of game pink is essentially uh we are focused on when women are facing it right now, like helping the families of the, of the folks that are facing it right now because that research may not be able to help them until it's too late. And so one of the, the really important things that we do is we pay for, for mammograms through, our, uh, through a program where we support hospitals all over America. And we have some really great hospitals that we work with that I'm, I'm sure they're in your community, they're you know all over the place. And um, 
What a mammogram is, for those you don't know, it's really, it's kind of like the first line of defense for detecting breast cancer. And it's just a, like an x-ray of the chest. And the sad thing about it is it, it's such an effective tool and it's not very expensive. It's not like crazy expensive, but oftentimes it's just enough where like a single working mom, maybe she's underinsured or she doesn't have the right um, coverage and it's like $150 and she may not be able to pay for it. So we set up these um, we set up these accounts essentially with hospitals like grants and they could draw on that and pay for those screenings for women. And what's important is if we if they detect that, we don't want to leave them high and dry. So that's really where a lot of the rest of our support comes in. Um, we, we have nurses and people that are trained to walk through the process with them. And, you know, because no one wants to go through some terrible thing like that and, and just be asking questions and not have any idea um, what their next step should be. And uh, it's really tough. And it, it was always that way for, for my uh, back, you know, before the Internet, you didn't have access to information. And that's really why we started National Breast Cancer Foundation was just to connect families together and connect people together so that they could have all the resources they needed to, to battle breast cancer. Well, you guys have done an incredible job, as you mentioned, helping families uh, around the country that uh, are affected by this. And I know there's obviously a lot going on in people's lives in 2020, um, but that doesn't mean that, uh, you know, this uh, disease does not uh, continue to be something that affects everyone um, around the country. Tell me a bit about yeah. Game Pink Live, and, or Game Pink, really, and Game Pink Live, what we're doing today. But Game Pink, this, you know, video yeah. game angle of it i'd love to know sort of how that ties in and you know you and i both know there are a lot of women that play video games um, yeah. but also lots of families um affected by this uh are you a gamer what's what's the link to sort of the video game world don't get me started this is my i love <laughs> gaming so much and uh, i can't believe i get to do this so i'm so excited that my the two worlds have collided right now um yeah. well game pink got started because Back in, I want to say it was like 2017, um, we were we were starting to get a real pickup in fundraisers uh, that were coming into our inbox, people wanting to do fundraisers. And we have a lot of fundraisers that activate, you know, throughout October especially. And we were seeing these coming in from Twitch. And so for a lot of us, we're like, what is Twitch? And I mean, I kind of knew what it was, but I didn't know of it as a, a platform for doing charity fundraising. And uh, we had one really big one that came through that kind of got our attention. And it was with um, Jack, uh, you know, Jack Dunlop, JD Courage, who's going to be on here today. Yep. And it was today, a yeah. $60,000. Yeah, they did a $60,000 fundraiser with Scuff Gaming. And I went, I'm like, what is this? And so I went on and looked at the, you know, kind of the replay of the stream. And it was the most awesome, high energy, passionate uh, charity fundraiser I'd ever seen at that time because it was just, it really captured, I think, the power of the chat and, you know, that energy going back and forth of the live give and take. So we saw that and we said, okay, we gotta do something about this. And we started seeing more and more. We at one point worked with Miss Pac and Bandai Namco. We have tons of mobile gaming. A lot of female gamers love mobile gaming. So we do really cool stuff. My wife is like a huge Mahjong fan. And, uh -huh. uh, and so we were getting all these these random uh, fundraisers and awareness campaigns. And we just said, you know, let's put them all under one umbrella, just trying to make it easier for people. Um, and, and so we call that Game Pink. And I love the fact that with Game Pink, uh, you know, it's, it's not really like, it's just organic. You know, we just kind of let the gaming community decide, you know, how they want to support. And, you know, we would never tell any of these streamers how to talk to their audiences it you know if you get someone big like preston plays who's been a big supporter of of game pink and so if he goes on and he streams you know there's there's thousands and thousands of people who are going to see it but it could be someone like aardvark plays or whatever you know some random streamer no one's heard of and they can make it happen and i just love watching how it really all of these really aggregate together into something really meaningful and impactful no you're absolutely right the gaming community and the streamer community it's just there's so much energy and so much passion and 
you know, I've always felt the gaming community has so much good in them, and we constantly see that time and again yeah. with uh, how much, you know, how much they just watch and contribute, right? And some people contribute dollars, some people contribute time, yeah. or their social capital to tweet and post about that. And that's what I say to everyone watching here today. Um, if mm -hmm. you can donate, great, but if you can't, Share this, share this live stream, share it on social media, uh, get everyone uh, to tune in and That's be right. a part of this because it's, uh, it's such an important um, cause. Well, I, I love that you have Game Pink and, and gaming has become a cornerstone of, of this foundation. Um, let's talk about fundraising though. This has been you know, a difficult year for a lot of people yeah. um, with the COVID pandemic and so many other things going on. Um, why, is the, the f why is fundraising so important this year and tell us sort of in the context of 2020 what's going on right now well i i was thinking about this earlier and i was just thinking like how i could relate and express this and so just bear with me for a second okay folks like think back to january 1st to the beginning of 2020 all right this year and you know some of you may be goal writers uh you know you have big vision for what was going to happen this year you were excited about the year uh, maybe you had like, you know, things were just clicking along with school or work or whatever. And maybe you were going to go on a really cool vacation in the summer and then March hits. <laughs> and all of a sudden your whole life is put on hold because of this terrible disease that you weren't even thinking about a week before. And you might think I'm talking about COVID-19, but I'm talking about breast cancer because there are every year more than 250,000 women so in March uh, that are diagnosed with breast cancer. So in March alone, while we were all getting word about COVID, more than 20,000 American women were being told that they had breast cancer. And you know, you instantly, your life is just paused, right? Now you're thinking, am I gonna live? Am I gonna die? Like, you know, all your vacation plans are canceled. Uh, and, and this is what happens for people that, that it doesn't matter what diseases come and go, like people are still getting breast cancer. And the really terrible thing that happened for, for so many families um, is, is that uh, not, not only were they maybe told they had breast cancer or they had a suspicious, you know, something odd, like a lump in their chest and they were worried about it. Well, then they couldn't even go into the hospitals because the hospitals were were you know, either temporarily closed or they were reducing elective surgeries. And so what we're seeing is that so many families right now are just in this holding pattern. And uh, I read the other day that uh, over 90% of women in the national healthcare system in Great Britain uh, are not doing their scheduled mammograms right now, which that means that their, their breast cancer is gonna be detected later in stage, which means that there will be more people who die from it and you know in the coming months and years and so you know we just have to stand up for all of these these hospitals and and organizations and really ultimately for you guys and your families and friends and, and remind people how important it is and i want you to know that those hospitals are struggling they are underfunded a lot of the money was diverted over to covid response and so they've had to lay people off they've had to lay off nurses and doctors and we we're just seeing this really just horrible side effect of that. And so I think the, the fact that COVID-19 came along, one of the maybe positive or silver linings in all this is that people can maybe empathize with what it's like when a disease like cancer just shuts your whole life down and your whole family down. And we understand what that is. And I want you to really put yourself in the shoes when you're thinking about that maybe that dollar or five dollars today that you might give, you know, it really truly makes a difference for people. Yeah, um, I think it's so important what you said uh, about, you know, the idea of mammograms being delayed. And look, I mean, you know, no one wants to be in a hospital right now. There's obviously no one ever really wants to be in a hospital, but it's like one of those no. things that this year has been uh, yeah, particularly challenging on so many fronts and continues to be. But uh, today we are here. To, to do what we can to support you and the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for, for joining us, for, for devoting your life really to uh, you know this foundation and this whole month I know, we're just kicking off the month, so I know this is a whole month uh, for awareness and we're gonna do all we can today to, uh, yeah. to raise, raise some funds uh, for you guys to continue on your mission. So thank, thanks so much for joining thank us. Thank you, Kevin. thanks Jeff, and I thank you all for being here today and supporting, we appreciate you guys.
All right, Kevin, live from Texas. Uh, great to see you. And, and as I mentioned, we've got lots more coming up. Uh, so far, though, we've raised over $5,000. Uh, keep the money coming in. Uh, we're going to be here for uh, four hours total. So we've got about three and a half hours left of incredible streams and gameplay and giveaways. And again, you can uh, donate right now on Twitch and YouTube with YouTube Giving, also Tiltify. And you can head to GamePinkLive.com to enter some of those incredible giveaways with a donation of just $1. Uh, all right, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we've got a lot of great stuff. We've got gameplay from Stat, Bree Bun, and Bloody Faster will be join us, and we're going to play a little bit of Grounded, the new Xbox game. Those guys are going to do some gameplay of that. And then we've got a live call in from, I think he's in Montana still, Aaron Greenberg, the GM of games marketing at Xbox, will join us to talk about the next generation of games uh, and the Xbox Series X and S that are coming out on November the 10th. Game Pink Live continues right here. We'll see you in a minute.
Hey guys, it's Jeff Keeley, and welcome back to Game Pink Live. Today we are raising funds for the National Breast Cancer Foundation, and we'll be live here for the next three and a half hours with a ton of gameplay and special guests. Uh, thanks for joining us on this Saturday afternoon. And right now, another guest is joining us all the way from my home country of Canada. It is Stat. Stat, how you doing? Hello. Here, uh, he is live up in Canada. I see Stat right there. He's Hi. smiling. How are you, Stat? Can you guys hear me? I can. I hear you now. How's everything, oh, sweet. man? Uh, pretty good. Well, just to let you know, I actually am in California, but I grew up in Canada. So that's like the Canadian oh. inside me. Yeah. Okay. Where did you grow up in Canada? Montreal. Okay. I grew up in Toronto, but now you've come down to uh, California, much like me. But uh, it's it's great to, great to have you with us here, man. And at, first of all, this is the first time I think we've met. How did you come up with the name Stat? Um, well, when I started my channel, it was actually just kind of an experiment. And I was like, Stat means quick. I like that. And I was like, maybe I'll put a five in front for search algorithm reasons, but it turns out that people just confuse it for five tat and um, that's that's how it is now. <laughs> but um, just, just yeah. like dead mouse, you got the five in there, right? That's so right. It's like, <laughs> um, and you also have a great beard. I have to admire that. I could never grow a beard like that. Um, is, this, is this part of your, uh, <laughs> have you always had a beard? I mean, not, not growing up, but I mean, um, <laughs> Honestly, like this beard has been, uh, it's been really nice having it. I, I, I'm a big fan and um, I mean, I'd love to see you try. It'd be nice. You know, I've tried, I can go about a week and I start to, it gets a little little too scruffy for me and I gotta shave it off. But yeah, sometimes after I finish Game Awards, I'm like, yeah, a couple weeks, let me let me grow a beard over the holidays or something. But anyways, I, I don't know if I could ever achieve full beardness like you. Um, but let's talk about kind of games and why we're here today. Um, this is obviously a very important stream. Uh, we're here for four hours raising money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, is this, I, I, I'd love to sort of know your history, your backstory. Um, is this a, a cause that is, is, is important to you? Important to me, actually. Um, my mom passed away from breast cancer actually four months to this day. And um, she, had been struggling with breast cancer for 16 years and she had stage four breast cancer spread to her bones and then to her brain. And then um, during this whole crazy year, you know, just on top of that, it, it was it just an extremely difficult. I mean, during the whole process was difficult, but this year extremely um, just with the pandemic and everything making it so much worse. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry for your loss in 16 years. I mean, that was a, a long and valiant um, fight against it. Uh, obviously, you said close to home for you, and that's why we are here today, because, you know, one in eight women are at some point in their lives are going to face, um, you know, breast cancer in some form. Um, what would, I mean, you've just been through this. I'm sure there's some people watching here that have had similar circumstances, unfortunately, um, or with a loved one that is going through this. What would you say, Hat, for 16 years, having, you know, gone through this with, uh, with your mother and your family, um, what would you say to someone to sort of in terms of support and, and what it's like, you know, going through that for, you know, more than, more than a decade? Um, the thing I could say is just spend as much time as you can with them, like, you know, make those phone calls, go for that dinner and just say yes, you know, when the, when, when the time comes up for like, the opportunity to do something with your family or your friend, whoever's affected by this. And, and I think that that is something that I was, I made a conscious effort to do because I wanted to be there. Um, Cause I knew that any time things could take a turn for the worse. And I just wanted to make sure that if there was quality time that we could spend together, I would be there. And so I made that effort and I would recommend that to anyone who's going through this and, and just being there for them. Absolutely. I think that's a really great way to think about it. What we're doing here, obviously, is trying to raise funds to help prolong people's lives and uh, be able to, you know, get those mammograms and everything um, happening sooner. Although, as you said, in 2020, it's obviously been a challenging year for a lot of folks. But games have been part of what I think has comforted people and brought people together virtually. Um, and obviously, people are always watching you um, stream. So, I mean, tell me about 2020 for you, obviously, you know, 
personally with your family, you guys have been through a lot, but how, how have how have games played into your life in 2020? Um, I mean, games have always been like that thing that you can turn to that, you know, also connects you with your friends. Even though we're going through this right now in the, in the world, you can still play games online, spend time together and, and just enjoy moments that um, you couldn't necessarily do in real life, but you can still do online. And that's the beauty of gaming and, and just being able to bring people together no matter what's going on. Absolutely. No, I agree with you. That's one of the things I felt throughout the year is that, uh, you know, games are one of the few, especially entertainment industries that have been able to entertain us and comfort us and, and give us that escape from a world that has, uh, you know, been challenging on a number of fronts. And especially for you, I'm sure it's been, you know, it's, it's been a, a hard year on a lot, a lot of ways. Uh, what, what games have you been playing this year? Like what has, what has, has excited you and, and been able to help you take your mind off everything else? Um, I've been playing a bunch of survival games. I was enjoying Grounded. Um, been playing PUBG again recently, and this uh, new game Genshin Impact, which is a, a, mobile, a mobile game and on crossplay with like PC, which is really cool. Yeah, Genshin Impact is getting incredible reviews, and uh, you know, uh, done right. out of China. I mean, it's just amazing what that uh, what those guys have put together. So beautiful, right? <laughs> I know, so surprising. I was uh, taken aback, honestly, and I've been really liking it. Yeah, no, they, I, I think I first started seeing it this summer. There was like a state of play or something that had some footage of it. And I'm just like, it just grabs you with the visual fidelity of it. And there's some games now, there's another game, Spellbreak, which is similar, which just has such a painterly, beautiful feel to sort of everything in the world. And yeah, Genshin Impact getting incredible reviews uh, just came out this week. So that's that's a good one. Um, well, I, Stat, we are, I, it's so nice to, to meet you virtually here. Um, I, I look forward to seeing you in person, hopefully, when that's... Uh, safe and able to do but i know we're gonna we're gonna come back in a few minutes and you're gonna do some some live gameplay with us right here on the stream right sweet yeah i'm gonna be playing some PUBG. awesome all right well we're looking forward to uh some PUBG with stat uh thanks for joining us thanks for sharing your very personal story with everyone here and uh if if you guys want to help contribute to the national breast cancer foundation we'd love to have your support today uh, you can donate on Tiltify and, of course, have some great giveaways as well on Game Pink Live. Um, Stat, thanks for joining us. We're going to be right back. I know you got to get PUBG ready, so um, we'll see you live on your stream in just a minute. Sounds good. Thank you, Jeff. Awesome. All right. Thanks. Stat, everyone. Uh, so nice of him to come join us and share his very personal story today as part of this stream. And, uh, you know, as we've been mentioning, a lot of you watching, I'm sure, have had breast cancer uh, in your family and or in friends, uh, and it affects everyone in, in some way, unfortunately. Uh, and that's why we're here today, to uh, help comfort everyone and hopefully bring people together around this very important cause. All right, well, as Stat mentioned, he's going to be playing a game coming up in just a minute. Uh, we've also got a lot of other great stuff coming up. Aaron Greenberg from Xbox is going to join us at uh, around 2 o'clock Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. But right now, we've got a special message from a friend of mine who is a massive gamer. He's starred in many video games. His voice is probably familiar to you as well. Uh, let's hear from Scott Porter. What is up, everybody? Scott Porter here, and I am honored to be a part of the Game Pink event supporting the National Breast Cancer Foundation here in the month of October, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I thank you all so much for being here. You know, breast cancer can affect any woman in our lives, our grandmothers, our mothers, our girlfriends, our wives, our daughters. It doesn't matter who you are, what community you are a part of. Um, breast cancer is universal. You know, here in the games community, 46% of our gamers here in the United States are women. And one in eight women in their lifetime will be diagnosed with breast cancer. And we have to be there to support them. We have to make sure that they're able to get their diagnosis early and get treatment quickly. Just like my grandmother did eight years ago. My 75-year-old grandmother, uh, Louise Palmier, one of the strongest women I know, was on top of her checkups, was on top of her mammograms, and was on top of checking herself out. And uh, she was diagnosed with HER2, a pretty aggressive form of breast cancer. But thanks to discovering it very quickly, getting diagnosed right away, and going through six months of, of chemo, uh, she has been cancer-free for seven years. Um, we want to eradicate breast cancer, of course, 
But in the meantime, we want to take care of those uh, that have been diagnosed. We want them to know that people are there for them. Every dollar you donate today goes to this amazing cause. $25 uh, gets a patient navigator to help them through it. Uh, $50 gets a hope kit. $150 gets somebody a free mammogram so they can get diagnosed early like my grandmother did, uh, who's now 83 years old and living life to the fullest uh, and, and be taken care of and hopefully uh, be free of cancer afterwards. So um, thank you so much for being here today. Please share your story as well. Please donate. Every dollar you do uh, is just an amazing benefit to someone out there. Thank you so much. Let's end breast cancer, but in the meantime, let's take care of those women in our life who are battling it. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Scott Porter. Take it easy, y'all, and give freely. Thank you.
interview and hold on. <clears throat> we're gonna be talking about uh the experience that i just had and um and uh, yeah so welcome everyone from um that's in the stream and also everyone from game pink uh stream we are playing some PUBG today we're doing a charity stream um and as they are as well the link is in my chat and um we've been playing some PUBG and raising money for national breast cancer uh foundation and um yeah this is a hashtag game pink and i talked about my story about how breast cancer has affected me and my family and it's just a really important cause so if you know there's anything that even a dollar anything that helps uh, that you can uh, do you know to help raise for this um that's why we're doing this and um yeah it's it's, uh, <laughs> it's amazing how games allow us to to do things like this um raising money for important causes so yeah and thanks so much to game pink for having me on their their stream with jeff Keeley, and uh, that was a great interview and um i'm looking forward to him starting to grow his beard but yeah so we are in the lobby ready for um some action on miramar here in PUBG, and uh Waiting for the game to get rolling. Link to Don Dono, yeah, it's uh, here. Hold on. Right there. <clears throat> so good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is our Saturday stream. Again, charity stream. And uh, super excited to be doing this. And just really, like I said, hits close to home. And so thank you everyone for joining us and, and being a part of this today. And hopefully we can get some chicken dinners as well as like a bonus on top of everything else. So yeah, 30 seconds to go. And I guess we'll do a hot drop. It looks like Picado is the way to go. Thank me for doing Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate that. And she had the link to the donation is in the chat there and um we are gonna be live for a while today so it should be fun <clears throat> all right here we go it's funny how pubg is fairly old game but still brings me back to it and um I had not played it for a little bit this year, but just coming back to it again has been a lot of fun. So um, the game and the game runs pretty smoothly now and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So we're gonna do a hot drop here and we're gonna have a good time in Picado. Here we go. Happy charity stream. Happy charity Saturday. Hey, thanks. gonna go in the back door oh someone's following me uh oh okay <laughs> we're okay everything's fine don't worry we had it all planned out I guess I ran over a gun but he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, he didn't get me. So we're good. <laughs> that was dangerous. We don't want our first jump in here to to be an instant death. <laughs> oh, this game's funny. You never know. All 
Alright, where's the next dude? Let's see if we can go find him. Give you guys some action. Donated. Hey, thank you. Appreciate the twenty dollars there, dude. Hmm. Oh. Oh. There's always someone in those buildings. But I don't see them. Hmm. We're gonna take a risk and go out here. See if we can find them. Here comes a car. Someone else wants to join the party here? Oh. I hear my cat meowing in the background. He always wants to be a part of the show. I don't see them. Hmm. What? No. How did that happen? So he parked there. He's going in that building. I see. There's a lot of gunfire, but I don't see anybody. There's for sure a guy in that building, though. Hmm. Maybe we can go steal his truck. You think he'll be upset? people to shoot at me so we can see where they are. Oh, there's a dead guy. Ah! <laughs> you made a bit of a mistake, that dude. Shouldn't have jumped out that window. <laughs> Let's see if he has any goodies on him. There's a bunch of dead people here. Oh. No. Uh, oh, he had a shotgun as well. I'll take his SKS. Yes, 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 thank you. How oh, sweet. Yeah, that shoddy's pretty strong. I don't, I don't know when they made that shoddy so strong, but a lot stronger than it was. Ooh. Two shoddy kills so far. I'll take it. I'll take it. The shoddy Rex indeed. Uh, 
But like, where is that other dude? Hmm. Is that my vehicle? Hmm. Let's get out of here. Wow. That, normally that would cause damage, no? Okay, we're gonna leave. Let's get a vector. Let's go get my car back. <laughs> we'll take the van for a second and then we'll get my car. How's it going, Sim Guy? Welcome, Goober Sandwich. Oh, there's a guy right there. Oh, in the hills. Oh, God. What is he doing? Oh, getting shot from behind. Should we risk this? Where'd he go? I wasn't watching. This is probably going to end up me getting killed. Where did he go? I lost him and, and stopped looking. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Hello, the King Frost. Welcome. All right. Oh. Gosh, this thing is so slow. It's so slow. Yo, by win. Me too. It's not always about winning. It's about having fun. No, I'm kidding. It's about winning. So I don't know where that guy went. I kind of took my eyes off him for a second. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> he ended up dying. Um, all right, well, thank you to um, GamePink for hosting the channel. Appreciate you guys, and uh, thank you for doing what you're doing and uh, supporting uh, not, um, breast cancer and, and helping women everywhere. So thank you, and um, thank you guys for tuning in. trying to find some more people to shoot at but there's they're all hiding from me Maybe this all right thanks to stat uh for that PUBG gameplay and for sharing his story as part of game pink live and we still got about uh, three hours of streaming still to go here. Courage will be joining us. We're also going to be joined by Aaron Greenberg from Xbox. And we've got some incredible giveaways we're going to be telling you about, including this crazy Halo uh, Nerf Blaster. I just posted this on Twitter, but this is uh, 16,000 Swarovski uh, crystals that have been uh, uh, put all over this incredible uh, Halo uh, gun. So um, you can get this. Potentially, as part of a giveaway, uh, head to GamePinkLive.com and uh, you can uh, enter for a chance to, to get this a donation. It, only $1 is required as a minimum donation to be a part of this giveaway and some of the other, other great giveaways with uh, Cuphead, HyperX, Samsung, Xbox, lots of other great partners that are supporting this incredible cause. Uh, right now, though, we are going to go to another interview, another guest joining us from Obsidian. Uh, joining us is Mikey Dowling. Mikey, how you doing? <laughs> yes, uh, that's a good way to put it. Uh, how, how's everything going on there? You got, I, I, I'm impressed you've got some, uh, some. they're not Muppets, but what are those back there? Some puppeteering now and then and try and surprise our company with just a random puppet during interviews or um, meetings since this work okay. for home environment is kind of an interesting take. So try and lighten up the mood every now and then. 
Well, I'm going to say we're going to have to have a, pu a little bit of a puppet show then later on. You can't tease me like that. All right. Well, uh, wait, what are the names of these puppets? Uh, so the green one is Locke. The pink one is Frecky. The gray one is Clint. And then there's a version of me back there. I also had one made of Fergus Urquhart, who's our studio head. So, yeah, there's there's some fun ones. Okay, well, I was going to say, the, the puppets will have to return. You know I have a special place in my heart for Muppets. Um, and I've done a lot of fun stuff over the years with them. But we'll get to the puppet fun later. Uh, Mikey, of course, Obsidian, uh, an incredible studio, now a part of Xbox Game Studios. Uh, you guys had the recent release of uh, Grounded uh, and uh, Avowed, which I'm sure I'll ask you about later. You won't tell me anything about. But uh, we're excited <laughs> about Grounded. And let's talk a bit about it. It's had a great year. Uh, lots of people stream it online, and there's there's so much to explore in this game. Uh, tell us a bit about Grounded. How, have you been happy with the response? How's it been going? I mean, there's been some incredible numbers when I see how many people have been able to experience, especially through Game Pass. Yeah, it's it's been great to see the audience kind of be able to gravitate towards a game that's not typically in our wheelhouse. Um, the team behind that game was very, very passionate to want to do a survival adventure game, and we think they knocked it out of the park. Um, and just being able to see that in two days time, we had a million people playing it and we're constantly getting feedback and engaging with our community more and more. Um, it's been fantastic and it's, it's wonderful. And we're still adding to it and want to grow it with our community um, and just get more and more in there and more bugs for them to check out and more things for them to build. Yeah, no, uh, you and the team have done such a great job with that game. And I love, you know, Obsidian, I think everyone knows for massive incredible role-playing games but have done some fun things over the years and you know the south park game and grounded being just a totally different genre totally different style of game still that obsidian quality which was really nice to see that you guys are able to experiment with other types of um gameplay i know though in addition to making games you guys have done a lot with the community to raise money for uh good causes uh, tell us a bit about the sort of pro-social uh, approach at obsidian Oh, yeah, it's just, it's something that we always want to be very cognizant of what we're doing. Um, we are going on to our sixth year of doing Extra Life. Um, we try and give to local organizations like our local Second Harvest Food Bank when we can um, and just make sure that we're still giving um, just because it's our players who are very, very important to us and it's that community drive that we want to be able to connect to as often as we can and be able to give back when we can. So uh, it's definitely in ourselves to just want to be able to give. And so we try and push that as much as we can. Awesome. Well, yeah, you guys have done a lot for the community, have an incredible community. Uh, so we saw this summer you guys announced Avowed. You've obviously continuing work on Grounded. Um, what, what can you tell us about kind of Obsidian moving forward? You're part of the Xbox Game Studios family. What kind of games, what kind of experiences do you guys want to build moving forward? I mean, we, we still always want to make RPGs. That's definitely in our blood um it's what we want to do and just be able to kind of share those stories and those very reactive worlds we kind of have a saying around the studio that we want to do your worlds your way and just kind of let you go into the sandbox and have fun and really build that story that is your story that's really important to us that you got to be able to do that um, but we also still want to be able to try things like grounded and see what we can do to stretch ourselves a little bit further and try genres that maybe you're not expecting us to do um, but still have that big narrative hook that Obsidian is really known for and just bring you in and bring you into a world of reactivity that we can build. Awesome. Well, yeah, we know that'll be coming forward and that tease of Avowed this summer was a big announcement from Xbox Game Studios. Aaron Greenberg's going to be joining us in a little bit um, to talk more about all things Xbox. But before we go, Mikey, I know uh, in addition to maybe the puppet show we'll get later, you're going to give us some uh, Steam keys to give away today, right? Yes, we are. Um, we wanted to be able to give something to this uh, charity uh, stream as much as we could. Uh, game keys are always fun and always gets people excited. So we figured why not help out in this way and get people stoked on grounded in some way. So yeah, we wanted to just give what we could, Jeff. Awesome. Well, we really appreciate that. So Steam keys are going to be given away and it sounds like uh, it's a little bit of a challenge for the community as well. We're going to uh, you're going to drop some game codes in the chat. Yeah. We'll be giving them away, I believe, I think every 5,000 raise or something like that. Um, okay. Just to help get people excited, get them in, and help donate to this great cause. 
Amazing. Well, thank you, Mikey, so much for Obsidian's support of the National Breast Cancer Foundation and being here as part of Game Pink Live. Uh, we are actually going to take a look at a trailer from Grounded right now. But Mikey, thank you so much for uh, joining us. And I learned something new today about you, that you are a puppeteer. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jeff. All right, Mikey from Obsidian, great to see you. And as I mentioned, let's take a look at Grounded, the brand new game from Obsidian that is out now. If you're waiting for the biggest game of the year, then wait for Cyberpunk. But if you're ready for the smallest, we've got you covered. From Obsidian Entertainment, the makers of games that are nothing like this one. This summer, strive together to thrive together or just feed your friend to the spiders and go solo. All right, Game Pink Live continues. I'm Jeff Keeley, and we are raising money today for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, please donate uh, on Tiltify. We also have GamePinkLive.com, where you can go and enter some incredible giveaways with a donation as little as $1. Uh, joining me now, we've got two great streamers who are going to join us, do a little gameplay as well. We've got Bree Bun and Bloody Faster. Uh, hey, guys, how you doing? Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Look at you guys. All right. All game picked <laughs> up, ready to go. Uh, where, where do you guys live, by the way? In the States. Okay. Washington United States. State. Yeah. Washington <laughs> State. All right. Get a little more specific. In exactly. Texas. No by country. <laughs> Texas and Washington. Okay, good. I would say undisclosed location, but uh, well, that's awesome. I love that, you know, we're bringing everyone together here. I'm in LA, Texas, Washington, all coming together for this incredible um, cause. And I have to say, both of you are really big uh, on fundraising uh, for organ and, you know, partnering with brands and organizations that give back. Um, why did you want to be a part of Game Pink Live today? Well, we're both women, and uh, especially for issues that predominantly affect women, uh, at least me, I'm more sensitive. Um, and I think it's the same for Brie as well. Definitely, yeah. I think uh, everyone knows everyone who's been affected by breast cancer, and so it's um, impossible not to want to help such a great cause. So I'm really happy to be a part of that. Yeah, well, it's great to, to have you guys with us today in your streaming setups, because I know gaming is a big part of uh, your life. Uh, Bloody Faster, I know you play a lot of Bloodborne, I've heard, and, and Brie, uh, Last of Us is, is your game of choice. Is that true? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Uh, and I've amazing. definitely played right, a lot well, of Bloodborne. Uh, <laughs> well, the goal okay. here is to make uh, Brie play Bloodborne, right? Are we gonna do yeah. that today? It, what do you think? Yeah, we can, you do Might a little swap take some over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be good. It, 
it, it's a pretty brutal game, but very rewarding. And yeah, Last of Us, obviously a, a massive title. Uh, we're working now on the Game Awards, and obviously that's a game that people are, are expecting to get some nominations. What what did you what did you think of uh, of Last of Us this year? Did you have fun with it? Yeah, I loved Last of Us too. Honestly, uh, it's like a controversial opinion if you tweet that out on Twitter, apparently. But I loved it so much. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, so yeah, I want to get Bloody to play it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, it's it's one of those ones. It's a little bit like Bloodborne in that it's very relentless and yeah, I think affects people emotionally in a lot of ways because as you said, it's uh, it's a it's a challenging game. But part of I think what the creators wanted to do was was affect us and have. Um, you know, have us react to it. Um, so as you said, definitely controversial, but the the quality of the gameplay in it is is pretty incredible, much like Bloodborne and what the guys at From do. So I love it. You guys are, are very, uh, very core gamers and, and obviously do a <laughs> lot of streaming. Um, you guys, I know, are also doing, uh, you're doing a Samsung giveaway today on your channels, right? Why don't you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, yeah. well, I can show you. Um, okay, please do. This is an amazing phone, everybody, and you could win one of those. I'm giving away two phones, and Bree's giving away two phones. And, uh, you know, come do some good for a great cause and uh -huh. uh, maybe win an amazing phone, right? Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. Let's play. Like, <laughs> okay. What else do you need? That's great. Right? <laughs> no, brand, brand new phone. You guys just happen to have them right there. I love it. And and what are you uh, what are you guys going to be playing today on your channel? I know you're going to do a little gameplay with us, but if people tune in later to your channels, what what can we expect today from uh, from you guys? I think we're going to be playing Grounded most of the time. Actually, we're going to dive yeah. into Grounded for the first time ever. So we're novices. Okay. Uh, we'll see yes. how that goes. Um, but yeah, super excited for that. <laughs> yeah, awesome. yeah, we are yeah. going to be Grounded diving we... into it blind. So. <laughs> Hope the okay, game is well, nice to us. Yes. It, it is a pretty fun... If, if you're used to Bloodborne and Last of Us, I think Grounded is, is a... <laughs> we'll be fine. Be a little bit, I was going to say, I think you'll be fine with Grounded. It's a okay. beautiful, cute game. Um, and Obsidian uh, is known for incredible games. We got, this was definitely something a little bit different that they put together. Um, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. Well, I love that you guys, you got the Samsung phones. We're talking about super core games. Uh, this is great. But he said all for an incredible cause, the National Breast Cancer Foundation. It's so nice of you guys to join us on the stream and contribute um, to today and Game Pink Live. So, yeah, let's get right to it. You guys are going to do some grounded gameplay live next. So we'll let you kind of get your setups ready to go and uh, appreciate uh Bloody Faster and Bree Bun joining us. Uh, I'll, we'll watch here and see how you guys do in, uh, in Grounded. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for joining us, guys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much for having us. <laughs> All right, awesome. Bree Bun and Bloody Faster, as I mentioned, they're going to be playing Grounded in just a minute here. Uh, we've raised over $8,000 today for Game Pink, uh, and we are just getting started. Uh, lots of great giveaways. Head to GamePinkLive.com, and you'll have the chance to enter some incredible giveaways for items with a donation as small as $1. And we've got lots more streaming coming up. We've got Preston Plays joining us, JD Witherspoon, Courage, Aaron Greenberg from Xbox, and more, all part of Game Pink Live. Uh, you can remember to donate via Tiltify in the link below that you see right here on this stream to help support breast cancer patients in need. Uh, and we've got lots of great stuff still to come, as I mentioned, but right now we are going to kick it back to Brie Bun and Bloody Faster and watch them get into Grounded from Obsidian. So let's take a look at this and I'll be back in just a little bit uh, with more interviews as Game Pink Live continues. Enjoy.
hear me? Can we hear me? Do we have sound? Do we have sound? Hello? 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 Hello, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Loud and clear. Hell yeah. Welcome. Oh my god, it's so good to see you. I don't know if uh, you saw Bree and me uh, on the Xbox channel, but we were right there talking with Jeff Keighley, and uh, we're here now. I don't know if Bree is already on, but... Uh, Okay, uh, hi everyone. So we're here. I'm gonna raise some money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation And then we're gonna hit all the goals and we're gonna give away all the phones, too So thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so much, Josh I want to show you I want to show you before I jump on a call with Brie I want to show you guys I did show it on uh, on the Xbox channel as well, but I am really excited for this and um I want you to see what what could be yours potentially. What could be yours potentially today? Um, let me grab this. Okay, there we go. It's your phone. It's unfortunately only US, uh, but two lucky winners on my channel and then two lucky winners on Bree's channel today are gonna have a chance to win an amazing phone. And uh, Collectively, we are gonna have the chance to raise money for this amazing cause. I know that almost everyone in here has been somehow affected by cancer and specifically by breast cancer, which affects one in eight women. One in eight. That number is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Ridiculously high. One in eight? We gotta, we gotta do something. We gotta do something about that. We gotta do something about that. Yeah, men get it too, but it's predominantly a disease that affects women. Um, and one woman every two minutes. Every two minutes, one woman will be diagnosed by breast cancer. That is, to me, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yes, I, I'm not allowed to say that. Um, I wouldn't want to drop this F-bomb. On, on Xbox right now, but yes, hashtag heck cancer, uh, that I can say. Hello everybody, thank you so much for being here, and uh, I'm gonna be playing, I'm gonna be playing Grounded with Bree Bun shortly. We're gonna be starting. Let me actually jump on a call with her. And uh, yeah, we can get this party started. As you can see, uh, we have some donations rolling so far. Thank you so much. We're at $34. Our goal is humble today. We're gonna go for $2,000. Maddie, thank you so much for the $4. Oh, okay, I will be reading all your messages too because it's important. I had a few people, I had a few people who had breast cancer who didn't survive. So I wanna support the stream today. Maddie, I am so sorry for your loss. I, I've also had family members die because of this illness and um it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking thank you so much and thank you everyone for all your support for supporting everything everything i do and all the the causes we raise money for all right i'm gonna jump on a call with brie thank you so much again everyone for doing this for being here and thank you, Xbox. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for inviting us. Thanks to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Hello. Thanks, everybody. Hello. Hello. Can you hear Hello. me? Yes, I can. Oh. How am I on? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Loud and clear. Right. Loud and clear. Perfect. Yes. Um, question. Are we doing a squad stream? Oh, we totally can. We totally can. We, we totally, totally can. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. We are streamers and we know exactly streamers what we're doing and we're going to do a squad stream. Oh, oh definitely. <laughs> uh, definitely I can do that right now. Oh, actually, I actually can. Oh, oh. I, th I think so. Oh, it's oh, happening? I, it probably is. Uh, <laughs> probably. There you go. I oh, oh, I see it. I'm accepting it. Oh, it's happening. Big things are happening. Megan says, currently fighting stage four breast cancer at 27. Thanks for doing oh my. this. Oh my. Wow. Is, wow. You got this. You got this. Megan, you got this. And we're here to raise all the money to make you the most comfortable during this process. You know? 
Women are strong Absolutely. as hell. Women are strong as hell. And uh, I mean, anyone, anyone, anyone who gets this disease or, you know. Oh my gosh! Ervon, a hundred dollars! Ervon, a hundred dollars! Thank you so Heck much! Heck yeah! Yes, let's go! I know that Brie is already at what? What is your... your I'm at right now? $660. $660 for Brie? Okay. That's crazy. It is crazy. And uh, let's get it. Let's get it to a thousand. Let's get it yeah. to a thousand. Yes. Because do you know what happens? Do you know what, what happens? happens? Tell us. Tell I'll us what tell happens you. when we hit I'll 1,000, both you. of us. I will tell you. So when both of us hit 1,000, so when Brie hits 1,000, when I hit 1,000, I'm going to give away a phone in chat, and she's going to give away a phone in her chat. Isn't that brilliant? Oh, yeah. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, all we got to do now is actually get to that point. Right? It's, it's all yep. we got to do. <laughs> easy. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Easy game, easy life. I say. Right. So uh, I'm ready to play. Are you? Yes, yes, yes. I'm ready to join up on your Perfect. game if you host one. I will. I will. Okay. I will host one. Perfect. Uh, okay. We're doing medium, mo uh, moderate stress level. Yeah. You know what? Okay. I don't yeah. need. I don't need the, the <laughs> whoa uh, level in my life. Like, I need I you to know have that in real life. You know, I don't need it in game as well. It's okay. You need to know. I have arachnophobia but i'm not turning on arachnophobia mode because i i want to like exposure therapy How? myself to spiders you think that today is the, the right day to start this exposure yes, therapy you i'm are ready very brave <laughs> i like that i like that that's yeah. i like that i like it yes, <laughs> okay it's good all right um oh i think i yeah i was testing it yesterday and i think i turned down the volume i sure did there we go okay so, it's been a while since I last watched uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> I was actually, I was actually, I'm, I'm old enough to have lived, you know, all these movies when they were a thing. Megan, thank you for the $5! <laughs> I don't, have you ever watched this movie, Brie? Or are you too Honey, I Shrunk the, yes, I have. Actually, I saw it in like the 3D experience at Disneyland or something like that when I was really little. By the way, I don't see a lobby. If you have a lobby open, oh, I do not see. You don't? No, I may need to restart my game. Hold up. Okay, I will do that I'll, right I'll now. I'll do that too. Okay, I don't want to play alone. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> I don't want to play alone. Not that I'm scared or anything. Not that I'm no, scared or anything. No, definitely not scared. No, 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 no. No fear here. Um, do I need to invite you? No, because last time I just joined up off of you when we tested it. Okay, so no, 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 no. I'm going to start a new game. Red Alameda, thank you for Let the $20. Yay! Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, I see you. Here we go. I'm on a cure. <laughs> so my, my good friend Loco uh, was here yesterday, and she was helping me set up some stuff, and she she said that I should use the phrase dialing in on a cure. Uh, as my campaign name, and uh, she threatened me that if I didn't, then I don't know, if well, things would happen, virginism. I guess. Endless cane, oh, there you yep. are! Pit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Messages. Okay, I'm just tweeting random. live. Okay. <laughs> this is a new one. She said that with this name, uh -huh. I would get thousands and thousands of donations Willow? for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, that's what she said. Right. So now. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know. Maybe you should uh, help her. Think, make yeah, this a reality, think about right? donating for a good cause. Think about that. If you can. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm collecting some stuff. Oh. I got Peblet. Oh, I can slurp the Sap? water? Yeah. Wait, don't can mind I throw if this? I do. Where are you? Oh, God. How's I think I just got sick. <laughs> You're sick? I drink, no! I drink water. I drink water. Don't the water. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Let's go towards the signal. Do you see it? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Peblet. Peblet, Peblet. spear. Peblet. How did I have this idea? All right, I'm at the icon. Interact? What just happened? Oh, what are we analyzing? Maybe Peblet? Maybe everything? <laughs> Oh, there's spiders already. Okay, or so ants. how is this computer... Okay, Tiny? So what it... Yes. <laughs> like, what is, what the... is the lore the here? Lore? I want to know what the lore is. I like, want to know. Was the whole area um, shrunk down? 
including humans? What mm, happened? Mm, why what? indeed? What happened? Chat, don't forget that we got a lovely, lovely goal that we need to hit today. We need to. Like, what am I gonna do with all these phones? What is Brie gonna what, do with all these phones? What are we gonna we do? Need to give Four them away in total today, okay? We need to give them away. Well, and what are we gonna do? You know? Come on. We need to make this happen. We need to make this happen. We have a donation link. We have a panel in our panels. <laughs> Whichever way is best for you. Okay. Raw science. I'm getting real smart. I'm getting real smart. You look smart and I'll just collect things and bring them to you. <laughs> oh, no. What? No, don't. don't bring me okay. No, I'm analyzing. Okay. Analyzed plant Hi. fiber. Are you friendly? Ah, oh, ew! Ugh. I don't. Why would I want to? Ugh. One sec. Ugh. Oh, gross. Oh. Oh my God. I don't know if Jeff can hear us, but this is this is uh, worse than Bloodborne. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely more emotional than the Last of Us. Definitely. Already, I'm crying. I'm imagining this in VR right now. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, Doc W with a fifty dollars. Oh, yeah. let's go. Let's Heck go. Yeah. And uh, the comment is plot twist. You were not shrunk. The world was made bigger. Amazing. I just killed something with my two hands. What do you mean? What did you kill? <laughs> I threw a pebble at him. Oh my god. I God. a pebble at him. It is slaughtered him, and I feel terrible. Oh no. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Please. Oh my gosh. All right, Bree. What are I'm you? I'm a monster. Hi. Hi. Um. Are you cute? Can I? Oh! oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this on this day. Oh. My God. All right. Let me give you a taste of your own I medicine. I was not expect. <laughs> you can block it. Okay. Oh wait. 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 Goodness. You can block attacks while you have a weapon equipped. Time it right. I don't think we have weapons yet. No, yeah, we don't. Okay, right. throw throw a rock at me, and I'll try to okay. to block it with my rock. Okay, ready? Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay, I don't <laughs> think that worked. <laughs> I don't think that worked. Okay, it's investigate the mysterious your... machine. We have a goal here. Yeah. We have a quest. An aphid. They're so cute. They are. Don't oh. kill them, please. No, I won't. I love aphids. Oh, They're push. adorable. And now you have a few teeth less. Good job. Who needs all oh, the teeth we anyway? You can jump pretty far. Got jumps. Honeydew. Let's heat this cancer. Let's do it. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for the support. And thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Let's go. Let's do this. Every dollar <laughs> counts. Every dollar counts. Right? It's simple math. Simple math. Can I? Yes. Okay. So are we supposed to eat bugs? Oh, we're we're gonna eat mushrooms. Bugs? <gasps> we can eat mushrooms. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This will Where's end. The... Oh no. Oh. This can only end badly. Seventy-five point seventy-five from monkeyism. We love. Heck yeah. I don't know if I can, I can. I will say that. You know what? I will say it. We love healthy booby woobies. I will say it, okay? Yeah. What's wrong with that? We, do, we are here we do. for that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the Hildy, thank you for the $50. Woo! My goodness. Oh, Heck yeah, my guys. God. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go, everyone. Okay, so uh, we need I, to build some tools, I think. Because right now... Yeah, I've lost useless. track of the lab, the analyzing area already. To find water. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! You found water that you got sick. Um, yeah, but I'm okay. Ooh, I'm really dehydrated, I think. Oh, almost. No, I'm hungry. Oh, boy. Uh, this doesn't look great. That's relatable. <laughs> <laughs> that's very relatable. Um, Here's okay. some water here. It might make you feel sicky. I'm gonna drink it. Are you drinking I'll it? I'll let you know what happens. Yeah. Oh, it hurted. Oh. I'm starving to death. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... I will eat a mushroom. I'm okay. I'm just... A little slurp. A little slurp? Ugh, yeah. A little slurp. I mean, fine. Now it says find clean water. Ah. 
Ah, uh, let's pick go picky. Eat a mushroom. Okay, <laughs> I want to eat the mushroom that I picked. Oh my god. Oh I'm my. Hungry. Ugh. Okay. All right, I'm I full on it. mushrooms. That's good. Okay. Looks like that was a good mushroom. Craft. Okay. Uh, um, unlock the obstructed oh. laser. Find whatever is weakening one of the lasers. Oh. Oh, what? How I made a spear. You made a spear? Yeah, look at me. I'm gonna throw. Yeah. Oh, I have a spear. Oh my god, how did you make this? Uh, inventory, and then go to craft. And then there's a bunch of stuff you can make. Bunch, a bunch. Of you can make a bow and arrow. That's really cool. Um, weak hand, peblet, hot pouch. Wait, how can you? Oh, here, craft. Wow. Okay. <laughs> how can you egg. make? How do how this do... thing? <laughs> okay, torch. We don't have what we need for that though. Bow. No. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, you can make a lot. Axe. That's what I want. Me too. Oh this seems man. Helpful. Imagine, imagine. Dragons. What we can do. <laughs> dragons in this game? Imagine dragons. Yes. All right, how do we um, fix this? What is obstructing I don't know. it? Do we need to fix it? Yeah, we do. It says I'm blocking oh, the obstructing oh. oh, wait, it's this one. It's not even the one that I'm uh, hitting with my spear. Do we need to... Uh, <laughs> maybe it's... Uh, okay, here we go. I will mess with something here, I think. This is safe. Maybe we need to go to that tower it's connected to. Maybe. Maybe. Mayhaps. Okay, all right. It's always fun to watch people play this game for the first time. I hope it's not, um, I don't know. It's confusing for everyone. Yes, but also, we're doing great. We're killing it. But also, <laughs> bite the wires? <laughs> That's how I fix all my real life problems. I stop them with a spear and see yeah, what happens. Yeah, pretty much. You know? Okay, we're at the thing. Oh, what is happening here? Oh, I see what's happening here. Okay. Oh, hey! Uh, get oh my god! Ow. Ah! Oh, I killed it! Hell yeah. I killed it! I killed it! Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, um, you have to die! Oh my god! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I killed it! It's for a good cause! Uh, I'm scared to go in there, it's really dark. Okay, I want to see if you lose health if I stab you. Oh, I do. Oh. I, I definitely do. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my I think God. so, because ah! you were- They're attacking me! They're attacking me. You were losing health when uh, I hit you with the rock, I'm pretty sure. So. Oh. Oh. Well, <laughs> let's not do that then. Okay. Good Friendly to know. fire is on. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Man. Oh, you're being chased. You're being chased! Oh gosh. By what? By a mite. I oh. got it. I got it. I saved you. I saved right, you. We need to find uh, the- is there a minimum crude rope? Always. No, there is not. There is not. As as long as we reach our two milestones, first one is at 1,000 and second is at 2,000, yeah. we're going to oh. do the giveaways. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So what do I want? It told me to craft a bandage and uh, I'm going to do that because I'm hurt. Ooh. I mean sap to do bandage. Do you have sap? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I did. I've been uh, grabbing a lot of stuff. Ah! Yes, it is DJ Ski right here, the founder of Dash Radio and Ski Sports. And I'm so proud to host the National Breast Cancer Foundation's Game Pink live stream right here from our headquarters in Hollywood, California. We've all had someone in our lives affected by breast cancer. Our mothers, grandmothers, sisters, wives, aunts, and many more. And that's why I wanted to help. For me personally, and our entire Dash Radio family, one of our favorite hosts and a personal friend, Tatiana Carrier, passed away this August after just a short battle with breast cancer. At just 37 years of age, she left behind a one-year-old child and a loving husband, as well as a group of friends and family who adored every moment with her. Her energy was truly contagious and she was one of my favorite people I've ever come across in my life. Losing someone so young and so suddenly, who seemingly had the world on her shoulders and a ton of life left to live, was a haunting wake-up call for me 
on the challenges of this disease and why this cause is more necessary than ever. NBCF provides help and hope to women with breast cancer, and your donation allows NBCF to help women before, during, and after a diagnosis. We're trying to raise money today to help women who can't afford early detection. Just $150 provides a woman with a free mammogram. Anything at all you can do to help would mean the world to us and to the legacy of my friend Tatiana. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but it doesn't take a month to remind me of the impact breast cancer has on the women in our lives. And if you haven't been personally impacted by breast cancer, I'm sure somebody in your family, a friend, a partner, a spouse, a colleague has been impacted because every two minutes, another woman faces a breast cancer diagnosis. So that is why we are here today. The National Breast Cancer Foundation is asking for your support. It costs $150 for a woman to receive a complimentary breast cancer screening. So I would appreciate it if you could donate whatever you can to help provide needed screenings for women in your community. Thank you so much. Amazing, great messages uh, there about the importance of National Breast Cancer Foundation and what we're doing here, Game Pink Live. Thanks everyone for donating. Over $15,000 has been raised so far and we'll be continuing to raise today and throughout the month because this is an entire month of awareness for breast cancer and we've got a lot of great content still to come today. So if you're watching right now, thank you for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've got a lot of great stuff, as I said, coming up um, over the next little while. And you guys can vote using the Tiltify link before, below the stream right here um, or on YouTube. You can watch, uh, you can click on the YouTube giving link and uh, donate to this incredible cause. All right, well, now we're going to be joined by a special friend of ours. Uh, Xbox has been an incredible supporter of Game Pink Live. We are watching this right now on Xbox's channels on Twitch and YouTube. They've been tweeting up a storm about it. And this guy has as well. He is the GM of Xbox Games Marketing. Joining us all the way from Montana, it is Aaron Greenberg, big VIP. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Jeff. I'm, I'm doing great. It's really good to be here with you. And uh, big thanks for people that are spending their Saturday with us uh, doing some good for gaming. Absolutely. Well, uh, this is a really important cause. And as I said, Xbox has been an incredible supporter of uh, Game Pink uh, and Game Pink Live. Aaron, it's a busy year for you guys. Lots of games coming out. Uh, I heard a rumor you're going to have a blog post coming out Monday. You've got lots of excitement around <laughs> all things Xbox uh, and, of course, Series X and S coming out on November 10th. But uh, tell us, why is why is Xbox devoting time and energy to Game Pink? Why is this cause important to you guys? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, we we support a lot of different causes that really are relevant to us in the gaming space. Um, I'm personally spent, uh, donate my time and my, my money to uh, a number of charities. I think one of the things that we love about gaming is just what, how much it can drive goodness f across the industry and the joy that it brings to people's lives. And right now, um, the way that it connects us uh, and allows us no matter you know where we are uh, to be able to stay connected to community. What I love is to see the industry coming together. Um, you know, our development partners, streamers, you know, a lot of our employees have been just on their own doing a lot of work behind the scenes. And so um, it's, it's awesome. And, and by doing that, people go and support and we go and drive change. And I think the being able to support the National Breast Cancer Foundation and what they do to help early detection. Um, we know that, you know, roughly half of the gamers out there are women. Um, and we all have stories of people that we work with or family members that have had breast cancer and the work that they do is just so critical. And so it's a small thing for us to show up and, and offer prizes and things like that uh, for people that are helping, um, you know, such an incredibly important cause. Yeah, now the gaming community comes together around these causes, and I know, as you said, you've been, uh, you know, it's you've devoted a lot of your time and energy to incredible um, causes. I saw even this week uh, some great tweets that you and Phil put out about special effects in the UK and all these other yep. great 
um, groups that do uh, do good things and I think uh, help the help rally the community around these causes. And that's what I love with these charity streams is that gamers show up and uh, you know donate not only their time and their social capital and energy, but also um, you know their dollars to help an incredible cause like this. And as you mentioned, Xbox is not just tweeting about it and we're running this on Xbox channels, but you guys have put together some pretty incredible uh, uh, giveaway items uh, for folks that donate. If you go to GamePinkLive.com right now, there are a bunch of giveaways going on. For only a dollar, you can get uh, a chance to enter some of these giveaways. And Aaron, you got a big product coming out uh, this November, Xbox Series X, right? Yes, yes, we do, we do. So I wanna hit on the giveaways real quick. And I do also yeah. wanna just thank you, Jeff, and Chris Herb, and the whole team at Triple Clicks, and DJ Ski, and Cassie, and uh, Jen Miller, and a lot of the folks that have made this all happen. Uh, people know this is, you know, this people are doing this out of passion, and the time is really so impactful. And I loved what Kevin said. You know, for me, I, yeah, I support gamers outreach and special effect, but I didn't even know about Game Pink until you all reached out to me and told me about it. And just reading and learning the difference between the research and really helping families that are dealing with breast cancer. Um, and it's near and dear to our hearts. I mean, we have a member of our team that, a young member of our team that we dearly love that went through this. And fortunately she came out, um, you know, cancer free, but um, it can hit any people you know and love. And, um, and this is such critical work that they do. So with that, we are donating a whole bunch of stuff. You've seen it. I'll hit a couple of the highlights. Um, I think that Halo Infinite um, Swarovski Crystal Nerf Blaster was pretty epic. Um, yep. We've got a cloud gaming mobile VIP kits that has the S20 Ultra 5G smartphone and 12 months of Game Pass. So you get all the Game Pass uh, kind of streaming catalog on the go, the hand-drawn animation cell from Cuphead, um, the limited edition Wonder Woman Xbox controller, uh, the Sea of Thieves team at Rare always steps up and supports causes like this. They've got three DLC items. And I personally am going to donate an Xbox Series X. There we go that will be signed um, by myself, Phil Spencer, and Major Nelson. And that's on behalf of the wow. Team Xbox. Uh, those are kind of hard to get right now. So we thought, uh, <laughs> what a great way to offer a nice prize uh, for, for folks that donate and, and, and a lucky winner. Wow, with the yeah, signature from uh, Phil Spencer, Major Nelson, and Aaron Greenberg, that is definitely a, uh, a prized item. And yeah, Xbox Series X coming on uh, November 10th alongside uh, Series S and it's, you know, yeah. I gotta say, it's it's so amazing that these systems are still coming out in the in the middle of the pandemic. There's so much excitement. You know, pre-orders were instantly gone. Um, there's there's so much excitement around Xbox and also some of the great games. Uh, you know, we just heard from Obsidian about Grounded and and Aaron. I know. Um, you know, the, the gaming community I think has had such it's such a big year for games overall and how they've kind of connected and comforted us. And Xbox is is doing it the right way in terms of trying to give back. Uh, best you guys can. And I know I think uh, Sea of Thieves is also gonna offer up some DLC items for donation, yep. um, some yep. skins and whatnot. So uh, there's a yep. lot of rewards and people can go to the rewards tab on Tiltify um, to donate and be a part of, uh, you know, part of this incredible cause. I know many of you guys would just donate uh, because you think it's the right thing to do, but Xbox has certainly stepped up with some incredible giveaways. And yeah, that, that sign Series X is, uh, Pretty incredible, Aaron. Uh, you, I know you're in Montana now, but uh, you've been seeing all the excitement online um, about Series X. So you guys feeling, you must be feeling really good about the kind of momentum and excitement amongst the fans, right? Yeah, it, it reminds me of like the pre Xbox 360 days, just kind of the vibe. And it feels like we are innovating and really coming together as a team uh, and everything we're doing. I mean, we're excited to have not only, you know, the world's most powerful console, the best price console, the innovation with Game Pass, making next gen, a bit, gen more affordable to more people with things like all access. Um, you saw how much we've added to our development teams. Uh, on the first party side with 15 Game Studios titles, now we announced the acquisition of Bethesda uh, and what a dream that is to be able to add, you know, that amount of talent uh, to Xbox, to Team Xbox. And so we think that's great for gaming. We think that's great for our fans. 
uh, and it's great for our development partners. And so, yeah, it's really, really an exciting year and uh, a lot more to come. Um, but yeah, we uh, we did pre-orders and our all of our retailers essentially told us that we broke every record for like everything, you know, um, wow. within seconds. Uh, and many of them struggled even just to keep their websites up, um, like of <laughs> yes. any pre-order they've ever done for any product. So, uh, and yeah. I remember Xbox One launch and I think it was close to a week before like the pre-orders were gone and now they're gone in seconds. And so uh, it's, it's fun. So we're gonna work hard to make as many as we can in the meantime, I love what you're holding there. Look at that thing. That is beautiful. That's right. Uh, Halo, Swarovski, over 16,000 uh, crystals. And yeah, this is uh, this is pretty fun, a Nerf Blaster. And this is one of the giveaway items. There is obviously, yeah. uh, you know, I think there are only a couple of these in the world. And this is There's uh, two of those, incredible. yes. Yes, yeah, exactly. yeah, that's those are those are super fun to play with. That one you might want to put on the shelf, but uh, <laughs> and yeah, of course we'll have a Series X. You're right. I'm in Montana now, but um, I'll be back in time for launch. Make sure we get those signed by Phil and Major Nelson, and we'll get it out to a to a lucky winner. And mostly, just want to say thanks to everyone that's streaming, donating, taking the time to support such a great cause, and um, just showing our support of people, the family members, and people that are are going through through this or have gone through this. Um, you know, we really care about you as a gaming community. Community. And for sure, uh, on behalf of Team Xbox, we're we're really excited to be to be here and be part of this. No, you guys have been incredible supporters. I mean, this is airing on Xbox channels today, and you guys have not not only donated your time and your money and re your resources, but the fact that you're joining us here on a, on a Saturday in Montana. Aaron is uh, usually out in the nature. If you follow Aaron on social media, you'll see him with the <laughs> with the bison or the deer or whatever in a waterfall. Yep. But today, Aaron is inside. Um, here joining us uh, on his Saturday, and we really appreciate all your support. Uh, Aaron Greenberg, one of the best guys in the gaming business, who really does mm. care about um, you know the community and the fans. And uh, it's it's so nice of you to join us and support uh, Game Pink Live in such a big way. So, uh, Aaron Greenberg, thank you so much. Uh, great to see you again. Great to see you, Jeff. Uh, and yeah, what a fun day it's been. I opened, we started the day with Minecraft Live, and now enjoying the Game Peak stream. By the way, I learned you're getting a beard and your love of puppets uh, that came up with Mikey. Mikey is hardcore yeah. into puppets. Uh, I'm a huge fan gonna, of that, so I'm- I was gonna say, has Mikey ever shown up with a with a puppet on a uh, Teams meeting yet? No, but I think we need to make that happen. Uh, and you, you know some pretty some pretty special puppeteers, so we might be able to <laughs> make something happen. But he's got a, he's, he's, he is a pretty deep hole you can go down with him on that. So, uh, but it's, it's super fun. So anyway, thank you again. Glad to be here. Uh, it's fun to show up and give stuff away, but most importantly, uh, you know, um, please, if you can, uh, please go donate and support. Um, that's what I did this morning and, uh, and my company matches. If you have a company that matches, make sure that you get that matching dollars too. Amazing. Aaron Greenberg, thank you so much. Good luck with uh, the Xbox launch, although it uh, doesn't seem like you need much luck. You guys are sold out everywhere, and we're looking forward to uh, hearing more about what Xbox has in store for gamers moving forward. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Awesome. All right. Aaron Greenberg, thank you so much. And as Aaron mentioned, you can donate via the Tiltify link below and enter to win these Xbox prize packs at GamePinkLive.com, including that special Xbox Series X console that will be signed by Aaron, Major Nelson, and Xbox P3, Phil Spencer. That is a one of one. There's only one of those. And Aaron has been so kind to donate that um, as part of one of the Xbox giveaways for Game Pink Live. Um, all right, well, now we're going to take a look at a video from our good friend DJ Ski, as well as some Game Pink stories that were submitted online. Check this out. Hey, guys, thank you for tuning in to Game Pink. I'm Kevin Hale, president of the National Breast Cancer Foundation. 39 years ago, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. I'm grateful to say that she's alive today, but so many lives are cut short by this terrible disease, and that's why we're here today. The National Breast Cancer Foundation started Game Pink as a way for gamers, developers, creators, and companies to rally together to raise money to spread knowledge to help fight breast cancer. Did you know that one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime? One out of every eight women that we know. These are our moms, our sisters, our grandmothers, our aunts, the people who mean the absolute world to us and would do anything for us. They need our help. Here are some of the ways that NBCF helps them. 
We pay for mammograms, which are like x-rays that help doctors find cancer. They're about $150, and that's often far too much money for a single mom to pay for. By the time they get a diagnosis, it can be too late for them. Early detection of breast cancer saves lives, and that's why it's so important that we get ahead of it. NBCF also pays for patient navigators to come alongside and be a helper to a woman as she walks through her breast cancer journey. The navigator is like a friend who's there to help her find money to pay for her treatment, to explain very complicated medical procedures, and in many cases, to help the woman get to and from the doctor's office. You may be hearing all this and thinking, well, what can my $1 do to help such a huge problem? A lot. Millions of gamers will see this broadcast, and if all of those people gave a dollar, we would have millions of dollars to donate to our network of hospitals all over America who are, by the way, facing an unprecedented shortage of funding right now due to COVID-19. It adds up, and it makes a huge difference. Your $5 might be what pays for a ride for a cancer patient to the hospital on the last day of her treatment so she can go home cancer-free and enjoy the rest of her life with her family. We're going to have a great time today and throughout October as the gaming community rallies behind Game Pink. Stay tuned to see how you can use your voice to make a difference. It's game over for breast cancer. My grandma beat breast cancer and you can too. Please donate to the Breast Cancer Foundation. I'm an advocate for breast cancer awareness. I'm always going to be a fighter against all cancers, but breast cancer particularly because it took my grandmother for me and she had a several bouts with it, beat it a couple of times, but you know, it's only so much the human body can take. So where her fight ended is pretty much where I pick up at, no matter if I'm doing a breast cancer run, walk, gaming stream, everything I do is for my grandmother for Evelyn. So fight plan for Game Pink, this is for her. And when I get out and do the uh, breast cancer half marathons and everything else, always for her. Hi, I'm Tom Edwards. Thank you again to the National Breast Cancer Foundation and for everyone tuning in today to Game Pink. You know, we've all been impacted by breast cancer. Our family was personally impacted and it was incredibly difficult. And I'm incredibly proud to support the mission of NBCF and their ability to help support at every step of the way of the patient journey from before, during, and after diagnosis. So something as simple as a $150 donation today can really help provide a mammogram for someone in need. So just incredibly appreciative of all of the work of NBCF. So thankful to all of our partners, sponsors, people participating, streamers, as well as their audiences and community. So thanks everyone for driving donations today. And again, every dollar matters. Thank you. Breast cancer is a horrible disease. And even though screenings and treatment have significantly improved, we still have so far to go. Every year, too many people die from breast cancer. I myself know someone who lost her battle at only 34 years of age, leaving behind two small children. Anything that you can give today to help the fight against breast cancer would be tremendously appreciated. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Antoinette Bronson. I'm filming this short clip in support of early detection and treatment for breast cancer. Mammograms are critical for women and men. I have had a young cousin who died of breast cancer at age 25 because it was diagnosed when she was four months pregnant. She valued the life of her unborn child over her own. She lived long enough to see her baby sur survive, be born and survive. He was three months old when she died. More recently, a dear friend and family member has battled breast cancer twice. She's been victorious, but that was a hard fought battle. Please support early detection for all people. Thank you. 
Some really awesome and meaningful messages from uh, everyone uh, that has been impacted by breast cancer in some way. As you've been hearing throughout the day today, one in eight women uh, in their life will uh, unfortunately face breast cancer. And this stream is really about raising money and helping the National Breast Cancer Foundation, which, as you've heard, helps women and their families as they face this unfortunate disease. Uh, we have over $16,500 that has been raised so far for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, thank you so much for all of you that have been watching and donating. It means the world to us to see that uh, you are here to support. And uh, no matter what, even if you're just watching, you're supporting with your time. But we have some pretty amazing giveaways. As you just heard from Aaron Greenberg at Xbox. One of the giveaways at GamePinkLive.com is a Xbox Series X that is signed by Aaron Greenberg, Larry Herb, Major Nelson, and Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox. That is a pretty sweet offer, and that is available to anyone who donates more than $1. You can get an entry at GamePinkLive.com um, for a chance to get that. And as Aaron mentioned, the Series X is definitely a hot commodity. Uh, it is already sold out everywhere. With this one, you'll get one and uh, also get signatures from those three folks at Xbox. So make sure to check that out, GamePinkLive.com. Joining us now, we've got another special guest, Kelsey Dangerous, joining us. Hello, Kelsey. What's happening? Hey, how are you? Hi. I'm doing fantastic. Great to see you. Good. Uh, I, Good I, to see you. I just followed you on Twitter moments ago, and I know I, I've watched a lot of your BuzzFeed multiplayer stuff. So uh, <laughs> it's great to great to have you with us on this stream. And I know you're right around the corner from us here in L.A. Um, yeah. And if, if, if things were different in the world, we'd probably be in the same room together. But uh, <laughs> know. it's, you know. It's been such a crazy year in 2020. We're going through that now, trying to figure out how we're doing the Game Awards virtually to try and keep everyone mm -hmm. safe. But I want to ask you, like, what has the year been like for you? I mean, you know, you can stream from home, of course, but um, I'm curious, like, how has it changed the content that you've made in 2020? It's definitely been a shift. I think that I've noticed a lot more, like, streaming, live uh, events pop up and things that are maybe in, like, cars. I've been to a lot of drive-ins just personally. Uh, so I think it's been interesting because it's become a more intimate moment in my content. So I'm, I'm making more content live and, like, for people hanging out with people and spending time with my audience more, which has been, been a great, you know, bonus uh, despite everything. Yeah, no, we can check out your streams. I know you're you're off streaming. What have you been streaming lately? What have you been playing? Lately, it's been a lot of Fall Guys Among Us. Uh, I hit up the Animal Crossing update. The pumpkins were great. Uh, yeah, just playing whatever's coming out new. I'm excited for the new Fall Guys update. I know, Fall Guys season two, I think coming Thursday, I think, right? Yeah, so soon, yeah little wizards and fun and yeah we revealed that with them at uh at gamescom and very excited about what uh it's yeah. it's amazing because i mean now that i feel like the streaming community moves from one game to another so it's like fall guys and then into among us and i'm sure back to fall guys like later this yeah. week so the, it's amazing that these folks are able to keep producing so much content um for for fans in the midst of this crazy uh pandemic but yes you of course you can check out um your stream which is always a ton of fun Let's talk about why we're here today in the National Breast Cancer Foundation, raising awareness for families facing breast cancer. Uh, let me ask you, I mean, this is obviously an important cause, but why did you want to come be here and support Game Pink Live? Yeah, I mean, throughout my whole life, I've known people, families that have been impacted by breast cancer. My family's been impacted by um, a different form of cancer. And uh, growing up, it's always been a thing that I've been in support of. I went to the walks, I've volunteered. And so when this opportunity came up, uh, of course, it was the first thing I wanted to do was to support and use my platform for good. Um, it's a thing that could possibly impact me and my friends in the future and something that I, you know, want to help change and and make people's experiences better and make their fight easier. Well, it's super noble and absolutely uh, great to have you give your time and your, your efforts and your streams and your social media to support this cause. We are definitely uh wanting to do all we can as you said to uh to help that fight and i know you're 
you're wearing it looks like some HyperX cloud mix oh, yes. headphones Ooh. that's uh, in rose gold, no less. And I understand that uh, you're going to be, uh, <laughs> it, if people watch your stream, they might have a chance to win a pair. It's true. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be streaming at my usual time at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. For a couple hours, we'll be uh, raising money for Game Pink on our stream. And also, I'm going to be giving away a pair of these bad boys. And they're, they're beautiful. They're honestly been my favorite. I've worn them for a while. So the fact that I get to give some away to someone tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, no, I love the HyperX headsets. I, I use them at home, and uh, yeah, they do a great job with that. So do we know what you're going to be playing tomorrow? Can you tease us? Uh, we'll probably be playing a bit of Fall Guys and getting ready, okay. you know, getting my skills back up. They have did some changes, so I'm still getting used to the minor changes in the maps and getting better at being yeeted across them with big yeetas. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> yeah, I know the Fall Guy. they... If, I'm sure most of you do follow, follow Fall Guys on Twitter, but yeah, they're always having a ton of fun. And yeah, Big Edis, and, and who knows what they have in store for season two, but it looks yeah. uh, it looks pretty fun. And again, that's coming out <laughs> later this week, so I think it's going to be a big moment in time. And I love that game. It's just so fun to play, right? And I think there's so much yeah. drama out there in the world and concern that sometimes it's nice to have a game that just lets you just laugh and have fun. And I'm sure you had yeah. the same thing. It's like a lot of laughing on your stream when you're playing Fall Guys. 100%. I think it's that perfect mix of like frustration that you'd get from a game you have no control over, but also like a little bit of competitiveness and just goofy. And that's like the perfect cocktail for me. <laughs> I love, uh, you know, competing, but also at the end of the day, you can only control so much because the physics are just insane. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is. Uh, it's sometimes it just feels unfair, but you're right. It's it's yeah. it's physics, so I guess it's just you deserved it. But yeah, that's part of the fun of it. Uh, it makes a lot of fun, <laughs> funny social media clips. So yeah, Fall Guys season two coming this Thursday. But before we go, I was a little bird told me I have to ask you about <laughs> Halloween because uh, yeah. uh, you're known for doing some pretty great cosplaying costumes. I know in a in a pandemic world, Halloween is going to be very different for people. Although I saw yeah. some, someone told me last week that Halloween candy sales are way up this year. And I'm like, that's interesting to me because I'm not sure how much <laughs> trick-or-treating is going to be happening safely, yeah. of course. But no. <laughs> um, what can we expect from you for Halloween? Uh, this year, I've been, ho I've been planning to do like mini dress-up cosplay Halloween things throughout the month uh, but at the end of the month I want to do a Halloween stream right before Halloween with some Among Us cosplay and I'm very excited to be looking sus out there <laughs> and right, also well, hopefully uh, like killing my friends I don't know maybe I, I was gonna say this will this will be fun to see on your social medias as you get ready for uh, for Halloween but yes Among Us I yeah. mean that's another game that I love that it came out two years ago mm. and no one paid attention to it. And then this year it is <laughs> yeah. absolutely blowing up. I think it was last weekend they had like 3 million concurrent players across mobile and uh, and desktop, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's what's fun about games is that uh, there's always something new and, and always something new for you to stream to keep it interesting. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we're excited that we will have Fall Guys uh, with you tomorrow on your stream. And as we mentioned, there's that awesome uh, HyperX uh, Cloud Mix headset that you can win just by watching uh, Kelsey's stream tomorrow. So Kelsey, where can we find you for streaming? Yeah, all you have to do is go to twitch.tv slash Kelsey Dangerous and you'll see me there. All right, all right Kelsey Dangerous with the limited away. edition rose gold Cloud Mix headset that is going to be tomorrow. And of course, uh, if you guys want to donate now, you can head to Game Pink Live for a chance for a bunch of the other giveaways, uh, including more stuff from HyperX. All right, well, Kelsey, thanks so much for joining us. It was fun to have you on. Thank you so much. It's a joy to be a part of this and uh, super proud of what everybody's been accomplishing. So can't wait for the rest of the month. That's right. Uh, we're just getting started. It's the beginning of October, but uh, Game Pink will go throughout of oct October. Kelsey, we'll see you tomorrow on the stream. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Have a good one. Awesome. All right, Kelsey Jangers, we really appreciate her joining us. And so far, we've raised over $17,000 for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. And uh, there's lots more to come. J.D. Witherspoon will be joining us. Courage will be here as well. We'll hear from Preston Plays and more. And if you guys want to donate for this great cause, uh, 
click on the Tiltify link on the page um, for more. And we've got, uh, if you want to get some of the amazing giveaways uh, and some of the, the uh, giveaways, we've also got a fun Sea of Thieves giveaway. Rare is giving us a collection of DLC items today. You can take a look at those right here. All those DLC items are going to be available. You just check out the rewards tab on Tiltify and donate to purchase. So lots of great stuff. Xbox has really uh, supported this stream in such a big way, right? Series X, uh, all the, the Wonder Woman controller that I was showing here with the Samsung phone for Xbox, uh, xCloud and Game Pass. This is so cool to see that, you know, you can play all your Xbox games right here with the controller uh, and this, uh, this cool Samsung phone um, all tied together as part of Xbox. Uh, xCloud and Game Pass. All right, well, now we're going to move on to another streamer. We have Das Medi joining our stream, and he is going to do some Sea of Thieves live gameplay for us from Das Medi. How you doing, Das? Let's we'll slap that anchor down. Right, yep, yep. Drift King, Drift King. Let's go, baby. Yo, what up, Skipper? We're chilling, we're chilling. Yo, what, what is yeah. that? What is that like color coming out of the? This is like confetti or something. You see Fireworks. that, right? I was yeah. so curious about that too. You want to go to that after? Oh, oh, man overboard, man overboard. Oh my God. <laughs> Put down the anchor. Stop, Put down stop, the anchor. Stop, oh God. Oh, God. There's a shark. There's a shark. Uh, help. Come back. Help. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm help. going for him. I'm going help. for him. <laughs> There's a shark. All right, I'm coming, on. Sam. Hold. Help! Help! <laughs> Help. Uh, uh. Wait, I don't have a sword, dude. Gee. I got I'm a off. shovel. I'm good. I'm good. I'm all good. right, I'm all right. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, what's Come going on, on ladies on and that. gentlemen? We're checking Listen. out Sea of Thieves right now. I want to style on them, bro. All right, to the left of it. Here we go. Come and back. at the same time, we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about breast cancer and how you, the viewers. Um, are able to join in on the fight. I pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, you know what? We'll, 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 we'll be fine. I mean, right now the game's being easy on us. All right, All right let's go. <clears throat> same course, same course. You're, uh, you're, y'all are gonna notice very quickly how me, science, or Sav are very new at the game. Uh, I played this way back in uh, release. It's Science Gun's first time. Head more and west. Head more west. A little bit more west. Right. Okay. Get to the right. Oh, here we oh, are. Okay. Well, oh my oh, God! What was hey, that? You, I just saw fire. Over barrels. You went over barrels. Oh God! <laughs> you gotta tell me. I can't see anything. Yes. <laughs> so. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can fix that. Listen. Uh, you know, Look, we'll, we'll yep. be fine. Okay. Yeah, Wait, is that know, the okay. is that the island right there on the right? Well, yeah, yeah, it's the one on the right. It's the one on the right. Also, boys, you may want to get some wood and try to repair those from down the deck signs. Oh, God. Do you think we have a leak? I, I need to pull the sail up because it's uh, broken in half. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Sav blew up and took the sail with him. Yo, I'm get ready to um, get ready to drop the anchor there. <laughs> okay, hold on. Almost got the sail up. Drop the anchor, drop the anchor. Okay, oh, okay. God. <laughs> We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. There's, wait, why is there, is that a fire? Oh, boys, we are, we are leaking oh, bad. We are leaking bad, Wait, boys. is it bad? I think I just drove boys, onto the island, bad. boys. I think oh. I just drove onto the island. We're going to, it's going to be fine. Bad. It's going to be okay, fine. You want water? Oh, I'm my God. Water. I'm pouring water okay. out. I'm pouring okay, water I'll pour out. two. I'll pour two. Hold pour on. water on the fire. Pour water pour on the fire. Yep, put it on the fire. No, we're okay, going on. Okay, we're I think, on. Wait, we got this. We got this. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, save the, save the chest. Save the chest. Oh, get the chest. Get the chest. Get the skull. I got the, the, chest, I got the, the skull. skull. I got the skull. I'm getting the chest. I'm getting the chest. Go, go, All right. go. Dip, 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 oh, God. Dip, dip, it's dip. too low. Okay. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> okay, well, I see you guys. Uh, oh, we are done. We are I done. I think we're done. For... I think we're done, boys. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm out. You good? You good? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Just I'm look coming out. out. I'm coming out. out. Here. Yeah. Boys, we gotta find okay. a mermaid now. All That's right. It. Okay, this is good. So, science, maybe you get the. Uh, I don't think we can bring the chest with us, right? I mean, I have it on me right now. I'm not letting go. How about this? Uh, I will. Let's go to the island. Sav, you protect the loot, the and we'll go get you. get another ship. 
So this isn't right, too bad. I mean, we got we lost okay. all the loot we got earlier. Yeah, I mean, learning lessons. Uh huh. Uh, Medi, how are we uh, both drowning and on fire at the same time? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a, maybe it's mystical fire. You know, like dragon's right, breath. Drop the stuff. All right, let's drop right, it here. Right there. It. Right, we'll be right back. All right, all right, boys, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, me up. Yeah, we get the we did get the loot, <laughs> so it's still a W, you know. Yeah, wait. Don't well, we that's true. Stuff that's now. true. I, you know, I think that was a good attempt. You know what I mean? I will say, if we see any other other ships, I think we should dip at this rate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's probably mm. yeah, good call. Apparently, chat saying it was a TNT bottle. It oh. was you like sailed over it, but I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't think it was a uh, because it looked like the normal ones, right? It didn't. Look oh, like crazy. the ones that you can like yeah. loot or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, except well, it was in the middle of the ocean. Boys, <laughs> all I'm saying is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skulls here with guns all right wait really uh, i'm gonna hold off until you guys actually get back here though all right okay yeah, yeah. it's also getting dark and uh well yeah i gotta go home uh, for supper uh you're, you're not well, no. bro it's, i get uh, it yeah yeah <laughs> night i get it i get it bro dark, you know, and... god damn it all right okay I mean, we're I mean, pretty good I, I... yeah we'll wait for many then we'll just uh okay. wipe them yeah, I just saw a sav like standing in front of the boat and then he blew up and his body hit the sail and it cracked. Dude, uh -oh. that was chilling. Okay, we have a little just... slight issue here. I think okay, I know where you guys are. Okay, I think I know where you are. Wait, it's science, still, could you come uh... back to the boat as well? No, he's here with me. Yeah, yeah. but I think I need him because otherwise... Science, uh... go back to the boat. Yeah, yeah. sail back to the light. And I, need, I need somebody to um, like yeah, watch the good. front because if you're sailing the boat, you can't really see in front of you too much. All right. I'm swimming out to the mermaid now. Mm -hmm. I'm good. No worries. No worries. All right. We got this, boys. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, there's another boat here. Okay. So, um, we have teamed up with NBCF, which is the National Breast Cancer Foundation, uh, along with about, uh, a load of other fantastic streamers. Uh, in, in order to uh, bring awareness to breast cancer. Um, NBCF provides help and hope for women with breast cancer. Your donations allow them to help women before, during, and after breast cancer diagnosis. <clears throat> Do you guys think uh, the AI respawn after a certain amount of time after you wipe them? Um. Yeah, they 100% do. Yeah, I remember that. Yes, right? All okay, right. yeah, mm -hmm. make you sure. the anchor, Captain. Also, I'm one really right neat now. thing is, if you follow that donation link, uh, and you play Sea of Thieves, there's uh, a $10 donation will give you the Ruby Splashtail Monarch costume. $5 donation will give you either the I Love emote or the Ruby Splashtail Fishing Rod. Wait, Fishing Rod? Okay, I need to go unlock that. All right, uh, a little bit to the right, Mitty, if we're going to the fireworks. Okay, all right. <clears throat> All right. I think ahead. it's in that direction. Oh, you got to bring the, uh, we got to bring the sails down. Yeah. I'm bringing the sails down. Bring it to like 50%, worry, maybe. I'm, I'm holding it down, boys. Yeah, we're going to save you. Don't worry. We're going to be, I'm we're going to, once you guys get here, prepare mm -hmm. for a fight. Wait, why? There's, oh, man. Uh, so where we have to go dig on the dig spot, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skeletons just guarding it right now. Wait, do we have to go to the so north or the south? I feel <laughs> like he's south of us. Uh, look at the map. You should just uh, be able to mark it up and find it. Uh, Put it this way. You guys see where that skull is at, right? The little orange skull in the air? E no. Bro, oh, I think don't? we're somewhere else. So, yo, put the uh, put the anchor down real quick. Let me take a look at the map. Okay, okay. I'm coming up. <clears throat> Let me see. We are up here. And... What was the... Where are you at? Oh, right we're now? somewhere completely new, bro. <clears throat> yeah, we're right. all the way to the west, right? Oh, Plunder that's fine. Outpost. Uh, oh, I found you. I found south. you. You're at Shark Bait Cove, right? Yep, yep. 
Okay, so we want to go roughly south. Southeast is right. East. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Don't All right, chilling, boys. We got this. Just hang tight. You know, eat your bananas. Eat your bananas. You'll sure. be just perfectly you. fine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, raising the anchor. Yep. I'm gonna try to help out as well. I think we could like, cause I don't need to sit on the uh, the steering wheel. I don't think. All I gotta say, watch out for those explosive barrels. All right. <laughs> yes. All right. Anything, I need, boys. I'm gonna double check. Here, let me see. Go a little south, east. All right. All right. We gotta land a little bit to our uh, to our right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. You're good. All right. Okay. I feel good about this now. I feel good about this now. This is going to be way smoother. Go ahead and line yeah. this up. I wonder if there's an indicator or like where and when they're. Oh, here we go. The indicator is this guy. Okay. That means we're straight. Okay. Fantastic. You good? Yeah. Uh, what game is this? This is uh, Sea of Thieves. Um, I played this back on release. I want to say like two years ago and since then they added so much so me coming back to this game now I am absolutely floored um, with uh, what there is so are the <laughs> donations gonna show up on your stream um, they should you'll see them on the well you see the bar up top right there um, with the with the goal and uh, some of the latest donations um, I can see them also coming in as well Dosmedi, thank you. Fundraising for breast cancer. Uh, Skipper with the 60 spot says, means a lot and even a dollar can go a long way. This is going to be awesome. Again, thank you, Dosmedi, for your time. Absolutely, man. Thank you for being a part of the community and helping out on the good fight. Let's hope that one day we can be in the future like Halo and has all cancers cured and it's an easy process. Hell yeah, Apex, with that 50 spot. The boys dropping the bombs. All right, we're looking good here. All right, beautiful. Let uh, me uh, take a look at the main mountain there. Left. Do you think there's... Um, oh, we're really close. Yeah, we're also going against the wind, I think, right now. Oh, are we? I think we should be fine. Uh, let me see. How bad is it against the wind? It's not uh, too bad. It's hitting from our left side. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'll turn the boat a little bit just so we don't dive right into that island. Good call. Yo, Caster Troy, 62 months. What up, my dude? Forgot how good the water looks in this game. It is beautiful, right? I don't think there's any other game that's got this kind of water. What is that? What are those? Uh, are those like seagulls uh, over a... Uh wreckage or something oh or yeah those are wreckages right. oh turn the sail i don't think we can turn the sail in the game can we oh you we can we can turn the angle dude all right all right oh let's do it on this one too um let me try turning it left oh this is perfect all right, let me uh, turn the ship as well. See if we can catch some wind. Right, there's land. Uh, there's a little outpost right ahead of us. Beautiful. Like I said, um, we're fairly new to the game. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm new. I'm just, I don't remember so much uh, how to play. So this is exciting. Oh God. Um, Did you get those um, let's sail away from here. Yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. Oh god. We'll be fine. Right? We'll be fine. They <laughs> yeah, can't no. hit us from here. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're no, you know. You know, it's just um, okay, yeah. We're good, um, we're good. We'll just sail around it. Just wave. Cannons. I don't wanna alarm you. Um see I'm I'm gonna wave at him. Yeah. <laughs> right, see they're cool, they're friendly. Lantern. Morris code with the lantern. This oh. is for you. Thank you. Yo, Skipper, the homie. Appreciate you. All 
All right, I think we're good. I'm, see, we made new this friends. This is easy, man. This is easy. Let's, uh, I think if we turn the sails maybe to the left, so we get okay. that little like gust action, but unfortunately we're going like directly into there. Yeah, so. we're going like right into, okay. Now let me take a look at the map. Chat, is there a way to pull the, uh, the map out so that we can look at it or do we need to go like all the way down? All right, we got land straight ahead. Hey, firm. Yeah, let's turn those sails to the right. I think we can actually get some gust there. You can see through the grate as well. Oh, oh, you do need to go down. Okay, makes sense. I think all the uh, Atlas experience is uh, helping out. It really has. I feel like we'd be really good at this if we dedicated some time. Yeah, that's true. Four-man crew would be pretty dope. I think Sav is dead. No, I'm chilling, boy. I'm, chilling. <laughs> I'm literally taking over this island right now. Oh, there we go. We got some gust. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> they I don't said sound, food. Uh... I'm drinking the water. <laughs> I don't want to sound overconfident, but uh, I don't see what could possibly go wrong. I think we're going to be fine. This is good. This is good, man. Wow, look we're at that. Ch we're chilling, boys. We're chilling. Don't even worry about it. All right, so he's going to be right past these set of islands right here. Okay, good. <clears throat> This island has a lot of stuff, though. I'll tell you that much. We can look for days once we uh, clear these mobs. Oh, apparently we can look through these gr grates. Science. Oh, here we go. Look, science. Okay. You can yeah. look through here and tell me which way to go. Oh, okay. That is awesome. That's a really good tip. Life hacks, life hacks. Yeah, Are we yeah. looking? How are we looking? Are we pointing at it or? No, uh, a little bit to our uh, right. Okay. About 10 degrees right. <clears throat> so with the chest, we just turn them back in, right? Once we get them? I believe the... so, yeah. Okay, I think some of them here. give us rep, maybe for the quest, mm -hmm. and then apparently some are like for gold. Got you, got you. Is this shared XP in a crew though? More or... right, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> see I'll the keep... island we're facing to? The one to the right of it. Ah, oh, okay. We see Sav now. We see Sav. You see him? All right. Beautiful. Too? I see it. Oh, yeah. There he is. We're Boys. coming. Friends, we're coming, man. Friends, I see you. There's been too long. I've been alone. I've been making friends with the chicken. Yeah, we're going to get there. You're going to have a wife and kids, man. <laughs> I hear voices in my head. Dude, wait till you guys get over here and see all the mobs. Oh, are there a lot? How have you been alive through all that? Well, I've been farming them, Loki. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. There's, a, there's also an ammo chest on the beach, so you can just kill them, re-ammo, like, re and then kill them again. Once again, chat, we are uh, teamed up with NBCF, the National Breast Cancer Foundation, uh, for an event to um, bring awareness to breast cancer. One in eight women is diagnosed with breast cancer in their lifetime. One woman every two minutes will be diagnosed with breast cancer. It's crazy. If you want to help contribute to the fight, exclamation mark Game Pink right there. You'll see that NBCF.org slash Game Pink live. Uh, that's the donation link. Every dollar counts. And for those who ain't able to join in slash color hot pink, um... To change your chat color and show some uh, some sweet, you know. Support. I'm like, I was like lower. searching for a word there. What am I going to use? <laughs> All right, ready, science? Drop that anchor. In just a moment, I'm going to turn it hard. I'm going to turn it hard. Beautiful. Oh, I'm lowering it. oh, God. Oh, God. We got this. 
It's lower. Yep. Ah, planned. Perfect. Look at that. See, we're ready to exit. All right. Look at that. Dude, pros. We're going to raise the Pros already. <laughs> we're here, Sav. All right, boys. Uh, make sure your guns are refueled. Make sure you have some bananas or something. Okay. Because these uh, mobs do have guns. Back, oh, so. do they really? Okay. Some of them do. Some of them do. Not all. Do we... Um, let's help you bring... I'm going to wait for Cyan so he's with me, and then... We'll, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's... Where are you at? You follow on the path? I see you guys. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I raise the sails because in case somebody steals our boat, they have to do all that before they leave. Oh, true. true Good point. True, smart. Ooh, a lot of barrels here. Might be some yeah, food. Yeah, there's a it. lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Oh, I'm already a full on uh, food. Wow. All right. So this oh, one. you weren't kidding. <clears throat> oh, I got a. I, I found a quest in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a fruit crate, bro. Yo, know, let's go ahead, yeah. go ahead and put that on the thing. There's another crate right here, signs. Where, where, where? Right here. Oh man, I wonder what these are for. Uh, I see fish emblems. Oh boys, on it. another skull, right here. All right. This oh, guy. apparently we can use this to fill it up with extra stuff. I wonder what the intent of that is. I got another bounty skull. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just keep them until whenever, I suppose. Yeah, we're loading up the boat. Maybe right it's now. like intent. Maybe it's for like having even more space. Mm. Bounty skulls. Ah, uh, extra bounty food. Skulls? You can fill it mm. and then you can sell it. Oh, I see. Oh. So any extra stuff that doesn't fit into the main boat. We're doing the trader route. Mm. Do you want to put? Let's put the um the extra stuff mm. on the other side of the boat, just so it's not like, you know, mixed put up. Those skulls and everything back here. The loop. Okay. How you guys want to follow me so we can wipe these guys? All right, we're back here for Game Pink Live. We've got a lot of great guests coming up here as we raise money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Lots of great giveaways as well. Head to GamePinkLive.com for your chance to uh, secure things like that crazy Halo uh, Nerf Blaster with 16,000 Swarovski crystals on this thing. There's uh, lots of other great things, including an Xbox Series X signed by Aaron Greenberg, Phil Spencer, and Major Nelson that you can secure as well for a donation of only $1. All right, um, let's take a look at how we're doing fundraising-wise. We've raised over $19,000 in donations here in uh, just about two hours of streaming. So thank you so much to everyone who's donated and been a part of this. And this is just the start of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we'll be taking donations all month long, but pretty amazing to be at effectively $20,000 here, uh, which is well above expectations. So thank you so much to all of you that have supported us. And uh, of course, you get a chance at some of these amazing giveaways uh, from all of our partners. Um, all right, well, before we move on, we're gonna see Preston Plays in a few minutes, Booga's coming up, Courage, lots of other great guests. But right now, we've got a special message from our friend Quarter Jade, and then we'll be live with Preston Plays here on Game Pink Live. I'm Quarter Jade, and I'm excited to team up with the National Breast Cancer Foundation and a bunch of great streamers for Game Pink Live on October 3rd at 12.30 Pacific Time. Every dollar that you donate will go to women and families impacted by breast cancer, which is pretty much everybody, because we all have mothers or sisters or wives or friends. So join Game Pink and help us say game over to breast cancer. My grandma beat breast cancer and you can too. Please donate to the Breast Cancer Foundation. I'm an advocate for breast cancer awareness. I'm always going to be a fighter against all cancers, but breast cancer particularly because it took my grandmother for me and she had a, several bouts with it, beat it a couple of times, but you know, it's only so much the human body could take. So where her fight ended is pretty much where I pick up at, no matter if I'm doing a breast cancer run, walk, gaming stream, everything I do is for my grandmother for Evelyn. So. Fight plan for Game Pink, this is for her. 
And when I get out and do the uh, breast cancer half marathons and everything else, always for her. Hi, I'm Tom Edwards. Thank you again to the National Breast Cancer Foundation and for everyone tuning in today to Game Pink. I mean, we've all been impacted by breast cancer. Our family was personally impacted and it was incredibly difficult. And I'm incredibly proud to support the mission of NBCF and their ability to help support at every step of the way of the patient journey from before, during, and after diagnosis. So something as simple as a $150 donation today can really help provide a mammogram for someone in need. So just incredibly appreciative of all of the work of NBCF. So thankful to all of our partners, sponsors, people participating, streamers, as well as their audiences and community. So thanks everyone for driving donations today. And again, every dollar matters. Thank you. Breast cancer is a horrible disease. And even though screenings and treatment have significantly improved, we still have so far to go. Every year, too many people die from breast cancer. I myself know someone who lost her battle at only 34 years of age, leaving behind two small children. Anything that you can give today to help the fight against breast cancer would be tremendously appreciated. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Antoinette Bronson. I'm filming this short clip in support of early detection and treatment for breast cancer. Mammograms are critical for women and men. I have had a young cousin who died of breast cancer at age 25 because it was diagnosed when she was four months pregnant. She valued the life of her unborn child over her own. She lived long enough to see her baby Sur survive, be born and survive. He was three months old when she died. More recently, a dear friend and family member has battled breast cancer twice. She's been victorious, but that was a hard fought battle. Please support early detection for all people. Thank you. Some really important messages from folks all around the country supporting Game Pink Live. Hey everyone, it's Chef Keeley, and today we are raising money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Thanks to everyone who's watching on Twitch and YouTube, and we have lots of great stuff coming up for you um, over the next couple of hours with some incredible guests, including J.D. Witherspoon, Courage, Booga. But right now we are going to turn to someone who is very familiar to many of you, Preston Plays. Uh, Preston, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? I, I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. Just chilling out on a Saturday, trying to raise some uh, some good money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. How's how's your Saturday going? Oh man, it's going great. Usually, it's uh, it's a nice chill day. Um, I've been loving the stream so far. I've been tuning in. Uh, myself and Brianna want to pledge five thousand uh, dollars to NBCF. What you guys are doing right now? Been a huge fan. Ever since I spoke with Kevin, and two years ago, we did a big event here in Texas at the Dr. Pepper Frisco Arena, and it was so much fun and so impactful to see all of the things that NBCF and Game Pink are doing for all these women. Wow, well, that's so appreciated. $5,000 uh, from you, Preston, uh, means the world to us and to, obviously, the National Breast Cancer Foundation. So thank you for that. And I know this, as you said, is something that you've been involved in for a couple of years now, your second year participating in Game Pink. Um, tell us a little bit about, you know, there are obviously a lot of charities out there, a lot of great causes to support. Why is National Breast Cancer Foundation one that is so important to you to make sure that you support year after year? Well, I think it's really interesting because looking at the stats, and I think you kind of forget how many women are impacted. I mean, looking at the stats right now on my laptop, one in every eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer at some point in time in their, in their life, which is absolutely crazy to think about. Um, and it's not something that you really think about on a daily basis because it's, it's, it's really tragic. And so for me, like, I've had a lot of family members who have, uh, you know, fallen victim to various types of cancer never particularly breast cancer but even so it's just any form of that is absolutely awful so when i can get behind something that's a great cause and i know where the money is actually going to and i get to actually make a difference and an impact like that's what really got me super hyped to work with game Bank. 
Yeah, and I know this is just the start of National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We've got the Game Pink live stream today. You got a bunch of stuff planned on your channel um, as well, kind of this month, right? To keep it keep the good momentum going. Yes, actually, we uh, we just did a video with Booga a few days ago, and it went up today. If anybody wants to watch it, and it was kind of the kickoff. Um, I'm putting up a million V bucks uh, for a tournament between Booga and my little brother Joshua. And it's going to be a best of three series, and it's all going to be for raising money for Game Pink, which I'm really excited for. Uh, I've never, I've done streams and stuff like that before, but never video content to raise money in like almost like a mini tournament style like this. So I'm yeah. super excited because I think it's going to be huge, and I really hope a lot of people tune in. All right, you and Booga with the V Bucks Challenge, and yeah, we'll be hearing from Booga a little bit later on the stream. Uh, let me ask you, Preston. 2020, you know, it's been such a odd, weird year for all of us. Um, but gaming, I think, has been something that continues to like comfort everyone and, and and keep playing games. You keep posting tons of videos. What? How has 2020 been different for you compared to other years? Oh wow, yeah, 2020 has definitely been <laughs> been a behemoth and a beast in its own. I think um, the one thing we've seen is like obviously there's a lot more. There's a lot more viewership, of course, like on the platform for games and content in general. I think it's also like hopefully time that people have got to spend a little bit more with their families and their friends during this time and hopefully like socially distancing as well. But it's definitely just been different to see, I don't know, digital media really like has always been massive and prevalent, but it's almost just like 3 x since, um, you know, the beginning of 2020 or like in March. So it's been, it's been really crazy because I think that more and more people are hopping out of digital media to consume the content and be on some type of platform or try to make a difference in some ways. I'm sure a lot of people have probably like turned to creating video content or streaming or something along those lines just because they weren't able to go into work or they are working from home. So for us, it's been, it's been interesting. It's definitely getting better, um, but uh, there's a lot of people that I miss that I wish I could physically be next to right now. <laughs> Yeah, totally agree with you on that. Although I know your wife's a big streamer and gamer as well, so you guys get to, to play together a little bit more now, right? And uh, do streams together. Yes, actually, she's in the uh, she's in the other room playing some some single player game right now. <laughs> that, that's the wrong with that. So what what uh, what have you been playing this year? I mean, obviously, there's some content we see you streaming and posting videos about. I'm sure there are other games that you play just for fun. But like, what what have you been enjoying playing kind of over the the summer and fall? Oh, man. Well, I mean, it's been great because, um, you know, we I recently got back into, like, Fortnite again. Still, I've been playing Minecraft for a whole decade. I don't even <laughs> ever see that changing anytime soon. Fall Guys are super fun. Um, Among Us lately has been just crazy and absolutely sweeping streams YouTube content. Yeah. It has just, like, taken over the platform, and for a good reason, because the game is so much fun. So I've been playing a lot of Among Us. That's been probably, like, my game of choice recently. Yeah, Among Us is such an incredible story with inner sloth and the fact that, that came out you know two years ago nobody paid attention to it and then as you said like literally a matter of like a week all of a sudden it just became the thing and it was sort of like fall guys was you know a phenomenon uh, among us and i love actually it's so so cool to me that games can literally just come out of nowhere and then just like take over the internet in a matter of days and i think they had it was like three million concurrent players on among us last oh. weekend which was just like nuts well, I think it's crazy because, like, right now you can see, because, like, in 2018 and 2019, like, it was really just predominantly, like, Minecraft, you know, Call of Duty, Fortnite. and then Fortnite. Yeah. And, yeah, like, but now, like, 2020, it's just, like, indie game companies just coming out. And, like, when I saw Among Us, which was released, like, two years ago, I was like, what? I was like, I thought this was, like, some, like, really new indie game that just came out and somebody picked up on it. And it's like, no, no, somebody that was popular just started streaming and playing it and everybody kind of joined on. And I was like, wow, this is a two-year-old game. It's yeah. so cool no. to see that, though. No, it went from, I think it was like its player count was, you know, 12 people or something like that in, in 2018. <laughs> and the fact that, yeah, Inner Sloth up in Seattle, like, you know, it's really three people, I think, that make that game. And it's been such a phenomenon. So, yeah, I'm really excited um, to sort of see what, what comes of that. And as I said, it's always great new content for you on your channel because there's new things to play. And, you know, it must be nice for you, too, because it's like I'm sure after doing Minecraft and Fortnite for so many years, it's good to, good to, to switch it up a little bit, right? Oh, yeah, it's great to break up, like, you know, the same type of game that you play over and over again. Actually, somebody remade Among Us in Minecraft as a map, and it was so good. It was, I played it the other day, and I was like, oh, my gosh, like, 
now Among Us, I would be like um, shocked if you start to see like some Fortnite Among Us remakes that are coming out. But it's just crazy to see like how that game is now like going into other games and people are like recreating it, which is so funny. Yeah, no, I, that's the thing is I think, you know, these new styles of games that are so built for streaming, right? And I mean, Fall Guys was just tons of fun to watch and Among Us, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, it's so fun, right? To play with friends and, and yeah, the audience kind of coming along as part of the journey. I think that's what makes it so much fun is to kind of watch everyone. Um, you know, it's free and mobile too, which I think is really, really big for a lot of people right now. Yep. who might not have enough money to buy like a full featured game. And also yep. it's like, super cheap if you play it on pc which is like great and i think people were missing that in 2020 like some kind of bigger community yep. game because you can have 10 people all play together and have a lot of fun and it doesn't cost a lot of money to do that and so i think that's like why among us just yep. like pop no i agree i think yeah the mobile as aspect as you said and it is accessible and that was one of the things with fortnite right it was free and people could just kind of jump in and it's yeah more opportunity for more people around the world to play games and also then you know watch all the fun streams. That's why I love it. It's a game that people can enjoy watching you play and stream and then play yeah. it themselves with their friends. So yeah, it's anyways, uh, we talked a lot. We could talk about games all day, but let's kind of take it back to Game Pink and what we're doing today, raising uh, money for the uh, the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you about was, you know, this charity, what Kevin has built, you being in Texas as well. I mean, it's amazing to see the passion that people have around this and all these streamers coming together, um, you know, you have an amazing community and you've been doing a lot of great work kind of tweeting about this. Um, what's, you know, you talked about how important this is to support this cause. Why do you think out of all the things out there, why is uh, National Breast Cancer Foundation, why is it so important to you? I mean, once again, mentioning, I think a lot of people resonate with charities and foundations that have impacted their lives. And so when I was younger, I did a lot of streams for various types of cancer prevention. And so yeah. when like, you know, Game Pink came along, I was like, man, I've had so many tragic family experiences and family friend experiences, primarily with like uh, breast cancer, but mine were, were not breast cancer, but still cancer related. And I was like, I, I would love to hop on something that is standing up against cancer, helping people prevent it, and then also helping people who have it because there's not a lot that do both. And so for me, that's huge. Yeah. It's like, if you can present, prevent something before it happens and I can, I can donate to that, like I can get behind that. And that's all yeah. it took. That was, and then I met Kevin and I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's so great. So it's his family. I love this cause. And like, also I feel like I was able to hop on and there wasn't like a bunch of red tape to get involved. And I could just like slide right in and make a difference. And that was something that really made me want to be a part of Game Pink. Yeah, well, no, it's so great to have you be a part of it across multiple years. And you mentioned this V-Bucks challenge with Booga. Have you guys done stuff together before? This is actually the, the first time ever filming with Booga. And I was <laughs> when I was filming with him, it's funny because I'm watching him play. And then every time he gets a kill, he gets a certain amount of V-Bucks, right? And so he's so good. I was like mesmerized while watching him. And I, there was like bouts and moments where I wouldn't talk for five to 10 seconds at a time, which for me is a lot of time without talking. And I was like, sorry, I just got super distracted. <laughs> it, was, it was our first time ever filming together. And it was so much fun and he was super pumped that it was such a uh, for such a great cause like game pink and we were just like instantly bonded over that and it was just uh, it was great awesome well i'm so excited to see that uh as that plays out with a million v bucks that's uh, a lot going on there and especially with your donation <laughs> uh five thousand dollars uh for coming from you guys is is so incredible and that's gonna push us uh, above probably 25 now which is incredible so uh 10 percent of the way there for the month only in one day, only in a couple hours, and that just shows I think the power of the gaming community. And a lot of it has to do with incredible content creators like you, Preston, all you've done on social media and uh, you know on YouTube to, uh, to, to, to highlight this cause. I think it's really, it's awesome to see the kind of obligation responsibility you feel to sort of give back to the world um, with what you've, uh, what you've built. So thank you so much for everything you've done for Game Pink and the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Absolutely. I mean, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the viewers. I mean, this is the only reason we have a platform and a place for our voice. So we should be using it to impact the community and anybody we can in a positive light. So I'm just glad that I'm here and I get to do something like that. And I hope that we get to like go even crazier. I think the goal right now is awesome. I would love to see a million dollars for the month of October race. That would just be, oh, that'd be so cool. 
that's my big goal. If I can help, if I can help make that a reality, I want to try to make it make it a reality in any way I can. All right, I love it. Big ambitious goals: a million V bucks and a million dollars. Preston is calling the ball now. Uh, well, there's there's some amazing giveaways. Um, you know, we've got this awesome uh, Nerf Halo Blaster with 16,000 Swarovski uh, crystals. This is one of the giveaways that uh, people will get if you donate even a dollar. So um, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff that uh, is unique as part of Game Pink Live. That's what I love is that the National Breast Cancer Foundation has built this whole program uh, today with games as the focus, obviously, of Game Pink, amazing giveaways and awesome special guests like you. So Preston, thanks for thanks for taking the time to join me live and also uh, all you've done for uh, Game Pink. It means a lot, I know, to the National Breast Cancer Foundation and everyone around the world that has been impacted by this uh, terrible disease. So uh, thanks, Preston. Well, thanks for having me, man. Guys, if you're watching the stream, make sure you donate. Let's go. Anything you can do helps. Even telling a friend, telling a family, whatever. Let's get that up, baby. All right, Preston Plays, I love the energy. Great to have you with us, man. And uh, we will see you again soon. And speaking of Preston, with his $5,000 donation, we've got some great news. We are up to over $26,000 of donations today. That's 10% of the way for what we want to do for Game Pink for the entire month of October. And we've done it in just over two hours here. So thanks to all of you guys uh, who have been watching donating your time and your social energy um, to this cause. It really means a lot to all of us who are working behind the scenes to put this on for you. So thank you so much and we'll keep you updated. We got a lot of shows still to go. We've got other special guests joining us. Booga, who Preston mentioned, uh, we'll hear from him in a little bit. JD Witherspoon and my man Courage, uh, he will be joining us as well. So we've got a lot of great stuff. But right now, don't forget to click the Tiltify link below and donate every dollar counts towards helping patients battling breast cancer and of course as i said there's some awesome giveaways like this uh this bedazzled or uh be crystalled uh, halo nerf blaster uh we've got the HyperX headset we've got some awesome stuff from xbox and samsung and as aaron greenberg said that signed xbox series x by him phil spencer and major nelson that is one of the special giveaways all right well next up We've got my man, Courage, joining us live. He was, uh, I think I saw on Twitter, he took the day off yesterday to watch movies, but today he's he's doing it for Game Pink. Uh, Courage, how are we doing? Jeff, what's going on? Hope you can hear me all right. Uh, Want to say, first off, thank you so much for having me. Second, great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen you, I think, since Game Awards last year, and then we've all been uh, quarantining away this year, but you have had... Such, I think, an amazing year. Uh, you know, I, I see you posting all the time about record numbers on YouTube, incredible streams, but you're here for Game Pink today. And I know how busy you are, so uh, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, I, you know, this was something that the second we got reached out to, I was like, yeah, this sounds like a great opportunity to get involved. And I've worked with the National Breast Cancer Foundation before. Um, love the group over there. I actually met um, some of the team back in Frisco because I, I, I lived in Frisco for a year, so. You know, breast cancer, something that has affected literally, I think, every single person in one way or another. And uh, to, to help raise money and, and to donate to a good cause, it's something that I think everyone can do. I'm blessed to have the platform I have and uh, and, and the awesome audience that I know will go ahead and, and, and help us reach our goal. So this was uh, this was something that I, I totally wanted to hop on, on in for. I just finished my workout, so I joined all nice and sweaty just for you, Jeff. <laughs> Well, uh, we appreciate it, Courage. I know you're a busy guy. Uh, lots going on uh, in your world. And as you mentioned, uh, Kevin, when he was on here uh, at the beginning of the stream, he mentioned that uh, he had seen one of the things that actually started Game Pink was him seeing one of your streams where you were, uh, you know, your fans were giving to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. He said that yeah. was a lot of what motivated this entire event. So I don't think any of this would be happening without uh, you having the foresight to be able to, uh, you know, to bring the National Breast Cancer Foundation together with your community. And as Kevin said, and, and you know this, and I know this, the gaming community is such a good group of people that really, I think, care about others. Uh, really? and care about giving back, especially even in a year where it hasn't been the best for everybody. I th still think people are really trying to do good. And, and you must yep. see that all the time. I mean, I know you have some of the best fans in the world. Yeah, it's it, it's crazy. You know, I've now across these years done more than a handful of these charitable streams. I'm so blessed to be surrounded by other creators who do the same. You know, one of the shining examples is Dr. Lupa with 
the, the money that he winds up raising every year. Um, and and to, yeah, to, to even just be able to take part in that and, and have some sort of role, it's, it's a great honor. You know, when, when we did our charity with the National Breast Cancer Foundation, it was back for one of our Call of Duty throwback tournaments uh, in the month of October, a few years back. And, you know, I, I like to do my research on the charities that I work with. And, you know, the National Breast Cancer Foundation hit every single mark that you would want in a charitable organization to donate to. They were a team that once they heard that we were getting involved, immediately wanted to help us be successful, sending us shirts, speaking to us directly, speaking to Tiltify, and to see now them embrace the gaming community even more is great. You know, earlier in the year, I wound up doing a charity stream in my community for uh, a coronavirus relief, and we raised, I believe, just over half a million for that. So to now be here again, where I know that this is something that in just the, what, first day already at Twin Cause, and, uh, and I can't wait to see where the number ends up. I saw Preston say a million dollars. Listen, I know the community, gaming community out there is big. I think you guys can do it. So I can't wait to see where it ends up. I agree, and especially in a year where, let's face it, I mean, a lot of people have, have had a tough year and it's like still to feel that everyone is really wanting to contribute and give back just warms my heart that the gaming community is, uh, you know, still, still willing to do all they can to take care of others and support you know, the gaming industry and, and content creators and streamers. I mean, you've had, you know, let's talk a little bit about you. You've had an amazing year uh, with all your streams. I mean, there's so much energy and excitement. You've done so much, I think, for so many games. What has, what has 2020 been like for you? I mean, you know, the 100 Thieves content house, as you guys yeah. are, you know, have been Kicking. quarantined there, basically streaming away. Jeez, I mean, you, you, you've you got to only imagine I've been stuck with Nade Shot in this house for the last right. uh, six months of quarantine. I think that's a... I think that, that should be like community service hours for me as well. But uh, but no, you know, it, it, it's had its highs and lows, I think is the safe thing. You know, I went into 2020 making kind of the biggest leap of my career, signing an exclusive deal with YouTube. Um, and, you know, the first few months with, with joining YouTube were a little bit rocky. It's learning an entire new platform. You know, my community had to make a huge adjustment. But again, I'm blessed with a courageous, we're such a diehard group that, you know, the reason why I share kind of this, the, the, the numbers that we've been hitting is because there, there are people that are taking these leaps as well. They might want to switch platforms themselves. We've obviously seen what's happened with, with the different streaming platforms this year where there's yep. just so much, you know, what, what's going to happen next. And YouTube has been doing so many great updates to their platform that to me, it's just a dream come true to now be, you know, on the biggest gaming platform in the world in YouTube and, and to be helping lead the charge for their streaming you know their streaming service is awesome and it's been it's been an incredible few months um you know with that said again highs and lows you know my i, I think everyone's experienced COVID in a different way my anxiety was a little bit yeah. rough recently but thankfully been doing a lot of steps to make me feel better um and, and and one thing i always want to do is make sure i'm really vocal with my community i do share you know the highs i have with streaming and and maybe my personal life but i also am very vocal with Hey, when I'm feeling off a little bit or when I need a day off or when my anxiety's rough, I want people to know that, hey, you, you got to take time for yourself or if you're struggling with that, you know, you're not alone, right? And and um, and um, so that's been one of my goals is to be as transparent my, with my audience as possible. And thankfully, it's been received super well. So uh, yeah, no, I, I I will say I love that you said you're, you're vulnerable with people and you kind of, you said, have these amazing moments with the uh, the new car you bought, but then the low moments with, uh, you know, he said the anxiety and, and some of the yeah. challenges that I think everyone faces. And uh, yeah, that's what makes you who you are. And, uh, you know, a, a streamer that has incredible growth as a content creator this year. Let's talk a little bit about games. Uh, you know, I know you got Among Us has become such an amazing phenomenon. I think you and I were both tweeting a month or two ago about how this game from 2018 sort of just like, you know, Reemerge and had three million concurrent players last weekend. Yeah, it's it, you know it's so inspiring because as a streamer, you know, not only I get reached out so much by people saying, you know, Jack or Courage, what can I do to grow as a streamer to go from zero viewers to ten viewers, and you know, it's it, it's so tough because you give advice, but there is this luck that comes into it, and I think that being an indie, uh, you know, an indie game designer or just a game designer in general. There are these people that dream of having moments like this. And you look at streamers that have blown up, you know, let's just say Ninja, for example. Tyler streamed seven years daily before the whole yeah. Fortnite takeoff happened, you know? Um, uh, I had a, a, I tried streaming once in college where I didn't hit more than three viewers after a month and a half. 
I, I had to go take care of school stuff, then came back when I had a little bit more of an audience built for my casting career. And you have a game like Among Us, which had like a peak average player count of like 8.2 uh, in their first like <laughs> six months of being a game. And, and now here they are. And with 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 everything that's going on, and it's just nice to have that feeling of like, hey, this dream is still a thing. You know, it's still happening. Games like Fall Guys, games like Among Us, they just get this little bit of, a, of ignition and it just takes off and they're in the right place at the right time. So yeah, Among Us has been so much fun you know i think the big one that everyone's looking forward to which i know you've had a, a lot of uh, hands-on or, or at least time to look at is cyberpunk you know i'm not yep. even someone that's a big single player person i'm battle royale competitive multiplayer but and you got to be excited if you're a gamer for cyberpunk and and you know i think just the games industry as a whole i think fortnite made such great um yeah. strides for the community with making cross platform thing cross progression you know, getting rid of these, getting rid of loot boxes, adding in battle passes, free updates. All these things are, are due to the success of what happened with Fortnite and Epic Games that now it being so um, adapted by the rest of these or adopted okay. by the rest of these developers. I think the, the future is so bright for gaming. We're already in the biggest entertaining yeah. industry in the world and it's not gonna stop. Yeah, no, look, I, I totally agree with you and that's one of the things you know when we do game awards we want to celebrate how big gaming is and i love that as you said there's such amazing stories this year in a game like fall guys or among us you said coming back from you know fr from really nowhere right and just you know all of a sudden it's like wait is this game of the year but it came out two years ago and i love that whole idea that it used to be these single that player games it's like I, that's what we're trying to figure out right because it's like i guess it's eligible but same thing with you know as you said fortnite and warzone and all these games keep updating right and like the new season of fall guys later this week is going to be a huge moment with you know the little wizards and all yep. that fun and awesome. it's just great that i think these games continue to update and look gives you know content creators like yourselves new things to talk about right and that's one of the things i think fortnite did such a great job at is like constantly iterating and updating so you had new content to create for your community um and all those seasons and it's just like it, there's so much energy around games i always say like my career People always say, well, why didn't you go off and do something else? It's like, because games, they, they they always inspire me because like, it feels like every week now, there's something new to get excited always. about. And it's not, you know, you're not, at one point, I'm sure everyone's like, all people were doing were playing Fortnite. And now it's like, look how diverse, that's why I love this year. It's like, Among Us, Fall Guys, it's like all these other games, I think has led to more diversity in the content that people can stream. And your fans seem to be open to all these different games, which is great. Yeah, it's it's been, you know, that's, that's kind of the dream for any streamer, right? It's like whatever game I hop on over to, I have my audience that still wants to tune in and watch. So, you know, I've already been having some people ask like, oh, what, what, what are you going to tune in? What are you going to want to play next? Like, oh gosh, I'm going to get me started with Halo Infinite. Like how excited I am for that. Like you were playing MCC earlier in the year. And, you know, that's one yeah. that I just wait for as well. Uh, I know it's been delayed a bit, but, you know, I started off as a Halo kid. So the new consoles, I already got both, both pre-ordered, ready to go. Um, you know, with that, with having with having just the option to play all sorts of stuff on the horizon, it's just great. You know, I love the feeling of being so excited for so many things, but not only as a as a creator. You know, it's it's my job. But before I was ever doing this, I, I was playing games. I was five, so I get excited personally, even about just stuff that I can just play on my handheld, like Hades. You know, I've been playing Hades on the side uh, uh, on my yeah. Switch, and just awesome been game. just been you know, loving how excited I am for games because that wasn't always the case. You know, I've had times when streaming where I've been like, man, I'm just kind of down on games right now or don't know what to play. But right now I'm like, I feel like I'm having to create blocks of how I'm going to fit all these games in my schedule in the years to come. Yeah, no, I agree. It feels like there's so much energy. And there was a time I think where it was like, you know, everyone was constantly playing Fortnite and that was everything. And I mean, a great game, but there was so much pressure on Epic to kind of constantly update and do things. And now, as you said, it's like, I love that Fall Guys had its moment, went to Among Us, and then right back to, uh, you know, a bunch of other games. Although I know tomorrow you got a big, uh, another big Among Us stream, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I love how collaborative these games are. And I love that. Another thing that I love is, you know, I, I very much believe in a rising tide races all ship, right? So um, I love that when you stream Among Us, you look at everyone's viewership and everyone's viewership is elevated because people tune into literally every perspective that they can. So. You go and look at the, the, the numbers on some of these streams and it's insane. So I've reached out to creators of all different sizes and followings and and, and connect connections in my life. And I was like, hey, I'm doing a 12 hour stream, three, four hour Among Us segments. Like, 
I have 27, I think, different creators that'll be joining tomorrow of, of, of all walks of life that I've met in my career. And uh, it's just going to be fun. You know, right now, Among Us is popping. Uh, I'm loving every second that I play it. My girlfriend's away for a few days. I'm like, hey, what else am I going to do on a Sunday other than play, uh, <laughs> play Among Us for 12 hours? So I can't wait. Amazing. And have you announced yet who's going to be with you or is that coming soon? Uh, right now, r right now we're getting the final graphic made, but for people that are <laughs> watching it might be interested. I mean, just just to name off a few, Brooke AB, Cypher PK, basically I do work, Jericho, Nogla, 5UP, Dr. Lupo, Vicstar, Pokimane, Typical Gamer, Laserbeam, Dan TDM, The Mob, Scissors, Ninja, Myth. We got it. We got a bit of everyone. Everyone's tuning in. So. My God! All right, I, I was. I, I, you, you have the list right there. I love it. It's it's, it's top of mind. You got to. Hey, you know we're you know we're working. You know we're working, Jeff. That's what we. That's what we always do, man. I always admire your your work ethic and you know how you've always rep represented the game community so well. So, um, uh, Thanks, it's, it's been great to link up on here and uh, and hopefully our our paths will continue to cross more soon. Absolutely, yes. Look forward to seeing you. We'll be watching you tomorrow with that epic Among Us 12-hour uh, stream with a ton of great content creators. Uh, you've done so much for the gaming industry and developers and the community bringing us all together, creating so much fun and excitement. When Courage is getting pumped up for an update, we're all sitting there waiting for the Fortnite uh, you know, patch to, to download. And yeah. Courage is hyping us up with some EDM, and it's always fun to uh, see you, Courage. So, uh, before we go, though, again, we are here for Game Pink Live. I want to thank everybody um, for all your donations and uh, courage. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time on Saturday as you prep for tomorrow to, uh, to stop by and continue to support the National Breast Cancer Foundation. So thanks so much for joining us, man. Yeah, thank you, uh, Jeff, and everyone on the team for having me. Shout out to the National Breast Cancer Foundation. If any of the courageous are watching right now, tweet out the stream. Guys, make donations. Send me, send me what you guys are donating. I want to show you guys love back. Uh, I made a donation myself uh, on behalf of me and my family. So uh, shout out to all you guys working on a great cause here. And I uh, can't wait to talk, so, talk more soon, Jeff. Amazing. All right. Thanks. Jack Courage Dunlop right here on the Game Pink live stream. Great to see you. And we've got lots more coming up. Up next, JD Witherspoon will be joining us. We'll be talking more about Samsung Cloud Gaming and a special message from Maya Moldenhauer at Studio MDHR, the creators of Cuphead. You can see a uh, little Cuphead back there. Um, they've got an amazing giveaway that you can check out at GamePinkLive.com. Uh, make sure to stick around. JD Witherspoon, up next. NBCF's mission is to help women now by inspiring hope to those affected by breast cancer through early detection, education, and support services. 46% of gamers in the U.S. are female. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. MBCF offers free, life-changing programs to women affected by breast cancer so no one has to face their journey alone. Every two minutes, a woman in the United States will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Support is needed now more than ever. Cancer doesn't slow down in a pandemic and neither do we. Let's come together as a community so that it's game over. Game over. Game over. It's game over for breast cancer. Yes, yes, it is DJ. Hey, Ski right here, the founder of Dash Radio and Ski Sports, and I'm so proud to host the National Breast Cancer Foundation's Game Pink live stream right here from our headquarters in Hollywood, California. We've all had someone in our lives affected by breast cancer. Our mothers, grandmothers, sisters, wives, aunts, and many more. And that's why I wanted to help. For me personally, and our entire Dash Radio family, one of our favorite hosts and a personal friend, Tatiana Carrier, passed away this August after just a short battle with breast cancer. At just 37 years of age, she left behind a one-year-old child and a loving husband, as well as a group of friends and family who adored every moment with her. Her energy was truly contagious and she was one of my favorite people I've ever come across in my life. Losing someone so young and so suddenly who seemingly had the world on her shoulders and a ton of life left to live was a haunting wake-up call for me 
on the challenges of this disease and why this cause is more necessary than ever. NBCF provides help and hope to women with breast cancer, and your donation allows NBCF to help women before, during, and after a diagnosis. We're trying to raise money today to help women who can't afford early detection. Just $150 provides a woman with a free mammogram. Anything at all you can do to help would mean the world to us and to the legacy of my friend Tatiana. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but it doesn't take a month to remind me of the impact breast cancer has on the women in our lives. And if you haven't been personally impacted by breast cancer, I'm sure somebody in your family, a friend, a partner, a spouse, a colleague has been impacted because every two minutes, another woman faces a breast cancer diagnosis. So that is why we are here today. The National Breast Cancer Foundation is asking for your support. It costs $150 for a woman to receive a complimentary breast cancer screening. So I would appreciate it if you could donate whatever you can to help provide needed screenings for women in your community. Thank you so much. All right, we are back here with the National Breast Cancer Foundation Game Pink Live. I'm Jeff Keeley, and we are raising money uh, for the foundation today. It's been incredible. We're up to over $27,000 from all you guys watching, which is more than 10% of the goal in just a couple of hours. And that's a goal all month long. So thank you to everyone in the gaming community. I know it has not been the easiest year for any of us. The fact that everyone is still being so generous and donating to this important cause is really, really important. Well, uh, we have a lot of great guests still to join us. We just had Courage on and Preston. And joining me right now, we've got my man, J.D. Witherspoon. What's up, J.D.? Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? How's everybody doing? What's going on, Jeff? Good to see you. Good to see you again, man. I haven't seen you since I think this summer. Well, I, I haven't seen you in person since, I don't know, probably last year, but uh, we did a, a stream this summer uh, around one of the big uh, console announcement events and, and sounds like you're you're still in the streaming room still. Uh, what, what's how's how's the rest of 2020 been for you? Uh, you know, think things are good. Things are good. I, I'm, I'm glad that we are trying to stay safe we're doing our thing we did we did stream earlier this year i don't know why i thought that was in person you know this is it's starting to it's starting <laughs> to mesh at this point i'm starting to lose sight of when are we outside and when are we inside now but um yeah no things are going well you know i'm staying safe i'm playing games i'm hanging out i'm i'm living life <laughs> all right well that's that's the way to do it it has as you said been a weird 2020 in the sense of time it's like feels to me like February was five years ago, but every week like seems to just like flash by now um, as we just sort of go through all this. And yeah, I guess we're here on a Saturday afternoon, but for a good cause, Game Pink. And I understand you've already been doing a little bit of Game Pink uh, streaming, right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, I know I know some of the people who are working on it behind the scenes, which are good friends of mine. So I've been just kind of hyping it up and promoting it all week or uh, as much as I can throughout the week. We played a little uh, Cuphead earlier this week which i realized i have not finished i'm, I'm right at the end i'm getting close i you gotta can't, finish you can't it. beat beat that last boss i i i know the strats now i've been i've been okay. working on other i've been working on other games i've been busy with my fall guys my among us strats you know not trying to be sus yeah. but now i was getting back in the loop of uh you know using using all the all the all the different attack modes you have in uh yeah freaking cub head so yeah so you know we've been talking about it uh, i've been streaming about it on twitch and all that so it's it's been good it's been good people have been supporting it which is always good that's amazing well uh let's talk a little bit uh about uh you know game pink which is uh you know very important here today raising money for the national breast cancer foundation why why have you decided to put your your time and your energy behind uh supporting game pink live well, I mean, I think personally, it's just one of those it's just one of those things that we should all get behind. There's already so many different things going on in the world that we can't control. But if we can just, you know, give a little bit back to people who really need it, I think that that really will benefit that group of people. And, you know, people people are suffering all over the world. So it's best to just, you know, step up when the time is right. And I think I think this is as good a time as any to really support 
people who are suffering with breast cancer and different types of cancers and really just focus on giving back to that community. Yeah, no, the gaming industry, uh, you know, continues to rally behind all these important causes. It's heartwarming for me to see uh, the generosity of gamers in a year where I know a lot of people have been struggling and it's been, you know, certainly not not easy for a lot of us um, across, the, across the world, really, with uh, the COVID pandemic. But you are still a very busy man, JD, uh, you know, acting, stand up, your streams, you know, your channel on YouTube, uh, you're doing so much stuff. Tell us a bit about what, what do you have planned for the rest of, uh, of 2020, if we're, if we're able to plan anything that is. You know what, I, I spread myself way too thin. I do way too many things. Speaking of which, uh, Chad, just to let y'all know, JD Witherspoon's the name, but gamer tag is run JD run if anybody cares. But I, I you know, I'm, if there's anything that I'm working on, I'm currently finishing up uh, the final leg of this show that I work on for TBS called Super Punch, uh, which yep. is a, game, a show about video games and streaming. And it's also uh, just a very cool place for people who are like, you know, casual gamers, core gamers, hardcore gamers to come by, check out some cool footage. We've had people like Dr. Lupo on before Pokemon. It's a very fun show. And uh, I'm sure we'll probably talk about this whole game ping thing on the show. I'm sure that I'm sure that's something that will oh. be added to one of our segments. Usually we love we love to give love to things that deserve it. So there's that. Yep. And then I don't know, stand up comedy. I don't even know if I can do it anymore, man. I haven't I haven't touched a <laughs> mic. I haven't touched a mic in months. I'm not sure. But uh, other than that, uh, just hanging, staying busy, creating content, live streaming, doing voice acting, doing whatever I can. All right. Well, you, you mentioned uh, Among Us uh, and that is a game that has become such a phenomenon what are what are you playing right now what are you looking forward to playing the rest of the year i mean i mean i did uh, I, I saw you have my boy courage on a second ago we yep. i was a part i was a part of one of his epic uh among us streams about a night or two ago uh it was me it was a bunch of those people they mentioned it got it got very hectic at a certain point and i was like oh this is how we really play this game all right that's cool uh, but me personally, I'm excited for next gen. I mean, you know, it's it's a new it's a new console generation. It's you know, for me, I'm I'm an OG console player and or PC gamer and or gamer in general. So you know, I've I've been there since the beginning, kids. You know, some of y'all are starting off with PlayStation 4s, which is not fair. But uh, it's all right. <laughs> I'm excited for the PS5, Xbox Series X, Miles Morales, uh, Spider Man. I'm looking forward to. I can't wait for Halo Infinite uh, next year and a whole bunch of other games, Cyberpunk. So, I mean, that's that's what I'm gonna be playing and streaming in the next uh, few months. Yes. Uh, well, speaking of Halo, I hear that you got a little sneak preview of uh, something I got here, which is the uh, the Halo Nerf Blaster with the oh. uh, 16,000 Swarovski crystals, right? Yes, 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 I did. Yes, that thing is epic. And I, I hey, whoever whoever manages to pull that off, I'm, I'm proud of you, because that, that right there, that would go perfect with my with my helmet. Ah, <laughs> I'm the guy who always brings out his Halo helmet, his master I see, there you, helmet. There you go. That was the. Every is that, is that time, the Halo baby. Three? Is that the Halo Three Collector's Edition helmet? No, yeah, no, that. no. That was, this, no, this, no. this is this right here is just a very. Actually, it's a well done Halloween costume. I was gonna call it cheap. It's not okay. that cheap. It's actually pretty good. I that looks great. No, this. I was gonna say because I remember I think I have it was this Halo one though. You're talking about the one that came with Halo Three. I got the Halo Three. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that's oh, yeah. the one, exactly. Oh, I was gonna say, that's a little more yellow. Yeah, that was an amazing collector's edition. Well, yes, yeah, I know I you're a Halo get... guy. We got this uh, this amazing Nerf Blaster. And I understand you got to, you got you made a little video with this uh, earlier today, I heard? I did, I did. I made a cool yeah. little video just explaining to uh, my audience on YouTube that uh, I was participating in this today and to come through and to check out the, the Nerf Blaster because personally, I, I don't remember getting such cool Nerf guns as a child. I remember just really basic ones or super soakers. I don't even think that's the same company. Either way, you kids have got it too good. <laughs> no, I was kidding. There's probably plenty of, plenty of adults in the chat who are like, who you calling a kid, man? I'm 42, what are we talking about? So. <laughs> hey, gamers come in all shapes and sizes and ages and we love them all, oh, yeah. JD. Uh, thanks for joining us. We're going to take a look at your video right now. A little bit later, I know we're going to see some of that uh, Cuphead gameplay. J.D. Witherspoon, such a great guy, so much energy, and here for a great cause. We really appreciate you spending time with us today. See you later, buddy. I appreciate you. Awesome. All right, J.D. Witherspoon. And right now, let's take a look at that video we mentioned with J.D. and the Halo Nerf Blaster. 
Yo, what's going on everybody? It's JD. Welcome back to a new video. So listen, today I want you all to come through and support the National Breast Cancer Foundation's new event that's happening called Game Pink. I'm gonna be a part of it. They're gonna be a bunch of streamers who are involved uh, and content creators like Booga, Mr. Beast, Preston Plays, many more. It's a very big event for the fight against breast cancer. And it's going to be streamed on Twitch and YouTube on Xbox's channels, which is gonna be really cool. I was talking about it earlier this week on my stream. If you came through and watched, we played a little bit of Cuphead. It was really fun. Uh, the creators of Cuphead are also giving away some stuff to one or, one or two lucky um, donators who help support the cause. And it's gonna be a really big, big thing. It's gonna be fun. I'm glad I can help and give back to charity. I was very appreciative to be involved and called upon to you know, uh, bring my, my my goofy expertise to the to the whole event. So it's Game Pink. It's happening literally in the next two hours. It's happening 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on both Twitch and YouTube. The link will be in the description below. And I wanted to talk about something really cool that they let me specifically check out just to show y'all. All right. And with that, here it is. Ba -ba -ra -ba 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 -ba. Look at that thing. Try not to drop it. Look at this. Look at this. This is crazy. All right. So this is, and it's 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 so bright. It's getting a little out of color. All right. So you all, y'all know I'm a big Halo fan. I should I should have a Master Chief helmet on for this. <laughs> but this is a Nerf gun. This is not real. This is Nerf gun. And uh, Halo and Nerf, everybody, are excited to present this super limited edition crystallized nerfed Halo MA40. That's what this is, MA40 Blaster, in support of Game Pink today to raise money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. I believe this is being auctioned off, so one lucky person's gonna get a chance to, 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 to I should name it at the camera, I think that's a bad thing. All right, so we all know that the National Breast Cancer Foundation's mission is to help women now by inspiring those who are affected by breast cancer through early detection and also education and support services. So this is, this is to benefit them and their purpose and their cause oh there it is got the un unc right <laughs> unsc anybody excited for halo infinite i'm ready i'm ready i'm i'm pretty ready all right so let me tell you all a little bit about this blaster so it's custom colored and embellished with over sixteen thousand swarovski crystals am i saying that right swarovski zorovski i think i'm saying that right uh so it's handcrafted it's a masterpiece and it features a motorized clip fed blaster that unleashes 10 darts darts people darts in a row so you can battle against the alien alliance the covenant uh and the swar excuse me swarovski crystal embellishment features the f the world's first neon pink Oh yeah, this is a completely different color. I just thought about that. Neon pink UV re <laughs> reactive crystals. Okay. Yeah, I think it's legit. Uh, if you want to participate and support Game Pink, pull up to the stream, click the link in my description below if you want to donate, show that support for the fight against breast cancer. And you know, it's it's just one of those things where at the end of the day, y'all, uh, let's 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 support our women. Let's support our 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 female gamers because 48% of all women in the US are female uh, and around the world is even more. So I think we should come together as a community and say it's game over. Say, oh wait, say, say, uh, <laughs> triple kill, double kill, killtacular. <laughs> it's a breast cancer. Uh, but yeah, any help is appreciated. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. I'm trying to get this thing adjusted on camera without, without messing it up. But yeah, pull up to the streams, come through, show that love. I'll be there. I might also be streaming on my own platform this afternoon before uh, I'm live on the event, but check out the stream. It's between the hours of 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to 4 p.m. I'll be around 3.30, I think 3.30 I go live. Maybe, yeah, I think so. So you, you come through, come say hi. I'll be there, Jeff Keeley's gonna be there, he's hosting it. And there's going to be a whole bunch of other people. A lot of studios are supporting it. And it would be great if you all could show that love. All right. I'm glad we got to do this little like show off unboxing type of kind of, you know, like support, support a good cause video. 
if you enjoyed it you know what to do hit that like button share links in the description below check out those videos over there on the left and i will catch you on that next one peace hello everyone in honor of national breast cancer awareness month i'll be partnering up with the national breast cancer foundation to help raise money for those families that are impacted by breast cancer you know breast cancer affects us all one woman is diagnosed with breast cancer every two minutes. It's insane. That's our moms, our sisters, our wives, friends, and more. So what I'm doing to take part is a charity stream on my Twitch channel at 7 p.m. tonight. I hope to see you there. Donate for some really cool giveaways, including this cute little pink fairy plushie that I made, um, as well as more. I hope to see you there. And everyone that is watching, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for donating. I hope to see you tonight and have a great rest of your evening. Bye, guys. Awesome. Some really nice messages. And I got to say, I am blown away by all the content creators that have taken time out of their Saturday to be with us here for Game Pink Live. And you guys have blown me away with how much you've contributed uh, to the National Breast Cancer Foundation as part of this. Uh, we've raised almost $29,000 today from all of you guys in the community for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, over 10% of the way there for the entire month, done in just about three hours here, and that's the power of the gaming community for a great cause in a year that I know has been a struggle for a lot of people. So um, we all notice it, and we're really, really thankful uh, for everyone, the content creators that have donated, Aaron Greenberg and Xbox, and everyone that's come together around this. It's really, really awesome. And, the good news is you're donating to help, but you're also donating because there are some pretty fun giveaways and exclusive things that are a part of this. And I wanted to go over some of those. One of them right now is this amazing Samsung giveaway with the S20 Ultra 5G, brand new phone. Samsung has donated a number of these devices. You can see it here, working with xCloud with the uh, Xbox controller. This is a Wonder Woman themed controller as well for the upcoming uh, Warner Brothers uh, picture uh, featuring Gal Gadot. Uh, this is one of the giveaways and the S20 Ultra 5G is uh, also one of the giveaways and Samsung is adding 12 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate to each prize bundle so you can play over 100 Xbox titles on the go using one of the best 5G phones out there which is the Samsung S20 Ultra 5G brand new phone. Isn't this so cool that all these Xbox games, we got Doom Eternal right here. It just got added to Xbox Game Pass this week, and already you're able to play it here on um, the, uh, the Samsung phone with a controller just like you do at home. And that's what's so cool about games is that they are becoming accessible across more platforms and more devices, which ultimately is exciting to me because it means more people are going to get to experience these incredible games. So all month long, you can head to Game Pink Live and enter for a chance to win one of these Samsung S20 Ultra 5Gs uh, with any donation of a dollar or more. Just select that giveaway. And of course, if you've seen throughout the day, we have that awesome Halo Nerf Blaster that uh, JD was just showing off. That's a giveaway. Aaron Greenberg mentioned the new Xbox Series X, which is also a giveaway. Um, there you can see that Halo Infinite uh, Nerf Blaster with Swarovski crystals, over 16,000. There are only two of these in the world, um, custom colored and embellished with over 16,000 crystals. Um, that is one of the special giveaways. And isn't that so cool to have Swarovski, Halo, 343, Xbox, all coming together with Nerf to make that, and you can donate to win right now at GamePinkLive.com. Um, there are 13 Samsung S20 Ultra 5Gs available in the giveaway, and uh, you can get more details in the chat. We'll drop some more information on those, but you guys can definitely pick those up as part of the giveaway right here on Game Pink Live. Uh, we've got a lot of other great giveaways that you're gonna be able to take a look at, and uh, lots of great stuff, including uh, this HyperX limited edition rose gold cloud mix headset. Uh, we had Kelsey here earlier showing that off. You can win one of those tomorrow if you watch Kelsey's stream, but also it's another giveaway. Really cool and rose gold, um, beautiful headset. And that's another one of the great things. Uh, we also have Sea of Thieves DLC. Rare has given us quite the collection of DLC items today. We've got the Ruby Splashtail Monarch costume for both male and female characters. The Ruby Splashtail Fishing Rod. Uh, a pirate's got to eat, right? And the premium I Love You emote when you feel like opening your salt-encrusted heart 
to your favorite fellow pirates, because it's all one love in the world of Sea of Thieves. Uh, you can donate to redeem the Sea of Thieves items, um, and the re redemption tab is on Tiltify right now. And of course, you can go to Game Pink Live as well to take a look at all those awesome Sea of Thieves items. So lots of great stuff here as part of Game Pink Live. And as I mentioned, there's also that custom Xbox signed by Aaron Greenberg, Phil Spencer, and Major Nelson. Uh, those Series X is sold out very quickly at pre-order, but now they are available and you guys can definitely get those. And there's also another really awesome giveaway uh, tied to Cuphead. And uh, you see uh, Cuphead back there and Mugman. And I mean, such an amazing game from Studio MDHR up in Toronto. Uh, the game debuted back on Xbox. Now it's on pretty much every platform. It's on PC. It's on PlayStation now. It's on Switch. Uh, such an incredible game as we... Uh, anxiously await the DLC, the delicious last course. Uh, we have a special message from our friend Booga, who's also going to stop by here, and then Maya Maldenhauer at Studio MDHR to tell you about an amazing uh, giveaway for Cuphead that uh, is amazing. A, a custom piece of art that was actually like used in making of the game. So right now, let's hear from Booga and Maya at Studio MDHR. Here. I'm really happy to announce that Preston wants to do an a million V-Bucks giveaway to raise money for Game Pink. So October is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I'm really excited to be able to raise money for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. I think this is a really great thing, and uh, I'm just really happy that I'm able to help other people. Preston, I'll hit you up and we can make it happen. Stay tuned, everyone. Hey, everybody. My name is Meg Cayley, and I am super excited to join up with Game Pink to help raise money for families impacted by breast cancer during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Being able to raise money and awareness for causes like this is absolutely crucial. By doing this, we can help to provide important screenings, access to education, and amazing emotional support for those who need it. Being able to detect cancer early can make a world of difference when it comes to battling it. So that's why it's so important that we do what we can to help provide free mammograms and other necessary screenings to those who may not be able to get them otherwise. And making sure that we all have access to the education that we need in order to know what to look out for can also make a world of difference when it comes to detecting breast cancer early. And for those who are already battling breast cancer, being able to have the emotional support, guidance, and resources that they need to heal is so, so important. Every dollar counts. It all adds up and it all makes an impact. And if you can't donate yourself, you can donate your time and your voice. You can tell your friends and family about Game Pink. You can retweet this video. You can come by my stream and help to hype up donations. There are so many amazing things that you can do that make a difference, even if you can't donate. But every dollar really does help, even if you only have a dollar to spare. Make sure you check out my Twitch channel and donate if you can, because we've got a lot of awesome giveaways and surprises, including a really exciting giveaway thanks to Samsung. I'm going to be choosing two winners to receive the new Samsung S20 Ultra. I've got one right here. And they'll also be getting 12 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate so that they can start playing right now as soon as they get their phone. One of the coolest things about this phone to me is the fact that you can just pull up the Xbox Game Pass app and have access to a crazy amount of games that you can just play all on your phone. And if you have an Xbox One controller that's compatible, you can use Bluetooth to connect it to the phone and play on your phone like you would on a console. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to hopefully seeing you in chat while we raise money for this amazing cause. Hi everyone, Maya here from Studio MDHR. As you've probably heard, October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we are proud to partner with the National Breast Cancer Foundation for Game Pink and encourage the amazing gaming community to come together and raise money for women who are fighting breast cancer. Support is needed now more than ever due to the current COVID-19 climate where more and more patients are requiring in-home treatments. It is also devastating to learn that we may see an increase in later stage diagnoses due to patients postponing their exams. To support the amazing work the foundation does, we've put together a Cuphead themed prize pack that includes McFarlane construction kits, a signed copy of our graphic novel, of a signed copy of the art of Cuphead, and a custom framed animation cell. So if you're able to, please go on over, find the Game Pink fundraising page on Tiltify and donate to win this and many other prizes. Thanks again for helping us come together as a gaming community to help raise money and awareness so that one day we may say game over to breast cancer.
so look today we're getting into we're getting into some cuphead but first things first i'm gonna talk to you guys about this uh this whole uh what what, what would you call it would you call it a a foundation an event it's uh it's if you go look at my panels on my page you can see that there is a new panel uh for game pink it's not gonna be released or announced until tomorrow it's a very special live streaming event that they're gonna be doing this weekend on october 3rd and i'm involved in it right and i guess i i get the i get the I guess you would say I get the the go ahead to be the first one to mention it uh, because I'm working with them and they were like, yeah, you know, mention it on your stream. The embargo is tomorrow, but we're going to talk about it. So let me actually see if I can throw a graphic up and give you guys some more information. All right. <clears throat> uh, I believe it's been talked about slightly, but let me just say. I'm excited to part with, partner with these people and team up with the National Breast Cancer Foundation, uh, who has a great group of people, and <clears throat> obviously, and uh, no, this is apple juice for those that are worried, chill out. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the National Breast Cancer Foundation is gonna be teaming up with a bunch of people, including myself, right? And I'll tell you more about it. I'm not gonna give away all the details. There's gonna be a special stream on October 3rd that I will, I believe, be a part of. And uh, it's gonna be start, It's gonna be hosted, I believe, by Jeff Keeley. And there's gonna be a lot of gamers, a lot of content creators, a lot of people in the industry who are gonna be a part of it, talking about it. Uh, I know we're on the front page, by the way, today, so I thought today would be the perfect time to give awareness to something like this. So, I'll give you more of these talking points right now so I can explain it properly. So, all right, Game Pink is going to be streaming live on Xbox's official Twitch and YouTube channels. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you know, they called your boy. They called your boy. Uh, <laughs> and uh, with that being said, every dollar donated is going to go help women and families impacted by breast cancer, everybody. And breast cancer, as you all know, can impact, like, you know, I mean all of the important uh, women in our lives, our mothers, our sisters, our grandmothers, our cousins, all this stuff, wives, girlfriends, aunties, aunties at the cookout. Come on now. Uh, and just friends in general. So I'm glad that Game Pink hit, you know, wanted me to participate and be a part of it. And uh, with that being said, there's a link on the panel. You can click that panel to go support um, game pink and the national breast cancer foundation and i'm trying to get my tiltify going you, you all know how we did that one time where we did that uh we did that charity stream I, I would like to see if i can attach the same type of link so if anybody does want to donate on the stream they can send it that way got him uh oh let that go over me uh-huh got him oh oh okay oh my god there we go there we go come on i might i might actually be able to beat this Oh, 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 I didn't see that coming, bro. What? Oh, and I hit two, oh, dos, dos, minutos. I sh got it. Oh, oh, JD, don't, don't get hit. Come on, man. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It is that hard because you're trash. All right, well, I need the lobber, bro. Isn't that the, the one that people recommend? All right, I think I'm doing well because he keeps switching between. A knockout? Are we out here? What? No, it's not all. It's not the but. Wait, bro. I really dead ass forgot, bro. I could be bot. I could be bodying this dude right now. Oh, it's B. It's B. It's B. It's B. Wait, why am I using this super? What the? It's B. It's B, y'all. I remember. Oh my god, I can't get out. How do you duck down under the? I was halfway to. I'm. I'm a rock this. Let's go. What the heck, bro? Looking like Travis Scott looking ass boy. Oh, 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 I got hit. Oh, duck. 
how do you I, my thing is i forgot how to um oh oh this isn't even that hard jd like why are you tripping my thing is i forgot how to can you duck down through things Woo! oh come on dude jd stop missing all right here we go here we go oh let's go that's a wash that's easy that's light work let's go Max will get red. Here go. Oh no! What the hell? Who is that? Yo, Shorty, what the heck? Oh! Wait, what? What? I can't. I can't focus on all this. Oh! Oh, I guess I can. Okay. Wait, let me hop that. There we go. Ah. Hey, finish. Let's go. I'm not sure what that does. I have the weakest super right now. Why am I using that one? Oh, my HP's done. Bro. Oh, golly. Oh, wait. I don't know what this is. Who are these? Who are they? What? Let's lob. Let's lob. Oh, what? What? Oh, my gosh. A martini. Oh, this is. I don't even know how this. I don't even know how this level plays. Oh, this is trash. I got. Wow. Bruh, this one's the hardest one I've done so far. Okay, so I definitely lost, like, ASAP. I think I can parry those eyeballs they're shooting. Only the pink one. Oh, no, I don't even know who this is. Off top. Gotta hit you with this. There you go. It's a freaking flying stage? I haven't done a flying stage in months. Oh! Oh, I forgot how to do these. I forgot how to do these, y'all. I forgot how to do these. I forgot how this works. Oh my God. I got one, I, I'm gonna get hit by one, one thing. Oh, there it is. I was almost done? They're this weak? This game can't be on regular. Let's go. I don't know who this is. I, I don't know, I don't know who you are. I gotta use my super. I gotta use my super on you. Wait, are these smackaroos? Whoa! What am I supposed to do with these? I don't. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I did not play against her. <laughs> That's stupid. I went through all that just to lose that quick. All right, y'all. Thank you again. Uh, again, support Game Pink. I'm gonna have the panel on my on my Twitch page all week. It'll be right there it'll be the first panel you see hey okay king king joe thank you like i said it's gonna be the first panel on my page for the rest of the week till sunday uh when sunday comes around hopefully you'll get a chance to watch me be a part of the event and i'm excited to give back and show love and fight breast cancer because it sucks it's stupid cancer sucks man it's taken so many good people man i hate that like friends family uh freaking chadwick boseman uh my buddy my but my boy henry's homeboy uh the guy who created huff if you all know skateboarding that's my boy henry's close friend who helped him like start in his career of being like a managerial position it's, it sucks so if you want to support the fight against breast cancer and cancer in general i appreciate y'all and with that i'll catch y'all in the next one be sure to go to my youtube channel and I'll see you soon. Oh, now a hype train happens? <laughs> All right, I've got to go, though. I appreciate y'all. Have a nice day. Peace. Amazing. JD Witherspoon, thank you so much for uh, that fun Cuphead gameplay. Such a great guy. And I'm so honored by all the amazing guests that have joined us for Game Pink Live this year, including Courage and Preston and Aaron Greenberg and Kelsey and the, the list goes on and on with all these incredible streamers that have been with us uh, donating their time and energy and all you guys donating your time, your hard earned dollars towards the National Breast Cancer Foundation. I'm so excited to announce that we have raised almost $30,000 um, for the National Breast Cancer Foundation over the past three hours, which is incredible. $30,000 on the way to $250,000 this month 
for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. This is so incredible. I am so excited to see the energy in this community in a year when I know it hasn't been the easiest for uh, many of you to still donate and uh, you know to this incredible cause is really, really meaningful. And this is only the start of the month, as I've said, this is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Game Pink is going on all month long to continue to raise money for women in need. And you can donate all month long on Tiltify and YouTube giving to help us get all the way to that $250,000 goal. Um, Game Pink has also put together a bunch of streaming sessions by gamers who'll be able to tune in uh, on YouTube to donate. So the live stream was today, but there are a lot of streams that will be going on throughout the month and Game Pink is really a month long initiative to raise funding for the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, the giveaway items, we've been showing them throughout the day, uh, the Xbox Series X, the uh, the Samsung phones, the that incredible cup head uh, still that Maya just talked about, the HyperX headset, all that stuff are giveaways that you can enter in for a chance to win by donating as little as $1. And you can head to GamePinkLive.com right now to get those donations in and lock them in and the giveaways will happen obviously later this month, but there are a lot of amazing things. And also our friends at CD Projekt Red. Yes, Cyberpunk 2077 coming out on November 19th. Um, it's looking like it's happening and our friends at CDPR have donated some amazing Cyberpunk 2077 uh, items. Stay tuned this month on how you can donate to win and the package is gonna include the collectible statue, the SEAL Series Cyberpunk headphones, the World of Cyberpunk 2077 book by Dark Horse, uh, also this amazing Xbox Cyberpunk controller, uh, which is awesome, and other swag you may have missed at E3 or is coming soon. We will even include all five of the collectible Rockstar Energy Drink Cyberpunk cans with an amazing Cyberpunk 2077 uh, gift package from the guys at CDPR who are working very hard over in Warsaw, Poland to finish up the game for its release on November 17th. Well, thank you all so much for joining us for Game Pink Live. Uh, this has been a really special day to have the entire gaming industry come together behind this. I wanna thank Xbox, I wanna thank the team at Triple Clicks for putting this together, and of course, Kevin and the National Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, this has been an amazing team effort to put together a stream like this. As you guys know, it's not the easiest to put these events on in 2020 safely with the COVID pandemic, but the fact that you all watched and tuned in and donated over $30,000 now to the National Breast Cancer Foundation means the world. So thanks to all of you for joining us and helping us save um, and say game over to breast cancer. Let's keep going all month long for Game Pink to help patients in need. I'm Jeff Keeley. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Have a good day.